What the hell happened to my audio? Where's all my audio at? Why are we... Oh! Okay, it wasn't my fault. The game's just quiet as hell. It was just complete. It was just completely silent. I had a heart attack. <laughs> so, oops, did not mean to press that. So, I have I have a load game on this. Yeah, I know I don't. What the fuck? Why did it take me to load game? That was weird. So, I'm 30 minutes late to my own stream because I just had the most wonderful thing happen to me. And by wonderful, I mean horrible. And it's still an ongoing problem. So, as you guys may know, for the past couple of streams, I've been bitching and complaining as to how my USB ports are acting all fucky. And right now, my headset's acting fucky again. And I hope it doesn't affect my microphone. Because that will suck. But... <clears throat> but... Literally before I went to go and start the stream, my capture card just decided, nah, I'm not gonna work. Nah, that's not happening. We're not doing that. And then I had a heart attack because I was like, what the fuck? Do I gotta like uninstall drivers or some shit? What the hell? I can't even find the capture card on my goddamn PC. What's going on? So, you know, I sit there and I'm doing the diagnostics by myself looking every which way, going, what the hell is the problem here? Hopefully now. Um, well, first of all, I had to restart my computer about like 50 times. I got a uh, blue screen during one of those restarts. Scared the holy fuck out of me. Um, I'm trying to unlock the ports on my fucking motherboard, which they should be unlocked. But who knows? I might just... I don't know what the hell is going on, to be honest. Uh, and some, at some point in the middle of the stream, I might just need to get up and just switch out some fucking, some USB ports or some shit. Cause I, this shit's not working. I don't know what's going on. My computer's been acting stupid. Like, a lot real recently, and it scares the crap out of me. But hopefully, it won't be too much of a problem. I'm using my old, my old headphones right now, and... It's still acting weird. So, you know what? Actually, fuck it. Give me a moment. I'll be right back. By the way, welcome to the stream, guys. Welcome to this bullshit that we're dealing with right now. Um, I'll be right back. Let me see if I can fix something real quick. So, give me one moment, please. Alright, I'm back. I switched to a newer set of headphones. Maybe it's just my maybe it's just my old ones. Maybe they're just dead. Maybe they're just dead now. Cause earlier today, I was playing um I was playing Hades. Haven't played that in a while. And everything was working fine. The visuals were fine, the audios were fine, everything was just dandy. The moment I go to stream, my PC just wants to kill itself. 
so that's amazing. So before we get started, how's everybody's day going? Mine has just been wonderful. And by wonderful, I mean hectic. Also, let me know if the game audio is too loud or too low. <laughs> it got worse this morning. Oh, shit. This morning at my job, I had to stop a bunch of rowdy teenagers from, uh, from stealing a bunch of golf carts. Because for some reason, they decided to cut a hole through a fence and just go, Hey, man, can we just take these these carts for a joyride? Meanwhile, I'm just sitting there in the car looking at them. Just honked my horn. One of them screamed at the top of their lungs like, Yo, bro, we got caught. And then he like tripped on his way out. It was kind of hilarious. <laughs> Have faith everything will get better. I hope so. For everyone's sake. Alright, so. This game had cross save? Did this come out on the Vita? Oh, I guess one of the last games that came out on the Vita. Hmm. So, Danganronpa V3. I'm going to say it right now. For the entirety of the playthrough. If you have not played or watched or read Danganronpa 1. To Goodbye Despair. Danganronpa 3, Future Arc, Despair Arc, Hope Arc, fucking, what else, and, um, Ultra Despair Girls, everything within those games, even the side shit, like Episode Hagakure and Danganronpa Zero and all that other bullshit, and Danganronpa If, if you have not read or played or watched any of that stuff, you are in spoiler territory. With that said, I, uh, I infamously talk about this game from time to time, where I always said that I had this game since it launched, but I never really sat down and beat it. With that said, I have played the first, the first, uh, not first chapter, the prologue, right? So, the first trial, everything that happens in there, uh, I know what goes on. So that's not going to be new to me. I don't know how we get there. I don't remember. But that's not going to be new to me. Um, I did have two other parts of the game spoiled for me. So when those show up, I will let it be known. But I'm not going to say what they are. And that's about it for Danganronpa. So without further ado, everyone shut the hell up and watch this intro. Wait, demo version? Oh shit, I don't got no. I didn't even play the demo of this game. Uh, we're gonna do English voices. Because I'm not Japanese. I'm not gonna pretend that I am. Uh, logic difficulty. Normal action difficulty. I. When I played Dangarapa 2, I put both of these on mean and I didn't really see any difference. So I. I don't know. <laughs> right? Uh, we'll just put it on normal, right? That seems fair. You can always change them, I believe.
Okay. With that lovely intro out of the way, first of all, let me know if the audio is too low so I can kick that up or too high so I can put it down. Gameplay is just what I need right now. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, man. Gameplay, more like story time. Watch me read words that I will never, ever know how to pronounce. All right. Nothing. No light, no sound. No form, no voice. No knowledge of who I am. Who am I? Who am I? I extend a hand. A hand that belongs to no one. To take hold of my existence. This is me. My name is Kaede Akamatsu. I just remembered who I am. So nice to meet you. I'm the protagonist of this crazy story. All right. It all begins. The ultimate reveal. Reveal, my bad. Revival. I'm already fucking up my reading. There we go. It's beautiful. I stumbled out of the locker in a daze, but as soon as I did, I fell on the floor. Guess you also forgot how to walk. I couldn't even brace for impact as blinding pain suddenly rushed through my head. But thanks to that pain, I went from dazed to annoyed real quick. Hmm? Wait, where am I? What is this place? I rubbed my throbbing forehead. Ooh, we're getting freaky already. Yep, it's definitely gonna leave a bump. I looked around. A classroom? Yep, this is a classroom, all right. But I don't recognize it. Where am I? What am I doing here? What the fuck? Did somebody just drop something in the other room? <laughs> Sound like someone just dropped the bowling ball. What the hell just happened? <laughs> Fucking this house I live in. It's crazy. Anyways. Oh, is this a dream? I just got to pinch myself, right? So I pinched my cheek. But all that did was make my head hurt in two places instead of one. Okay, hold on a second. Let's just stay calm and think this through. Confused as I was, I tried to remember how I ended up here. But no matter how hard I tried, in the end, I just couldn't. Whoa! Suddenly, the locker next to mine started swaying and shaking, making all kinds of noises. As I fearfully turned around, the locker door slowly opened and... A boy came stumbling out. I've seen enough, enough uh, anime to know where this goes. Man, he sounds pathetic. <laughs> Fucking falling on the floor, you just go, eh, eh. A normal boy dressed in a school uniform. In fact, he might be a high school student, too. He looked bewildered, and when he slowly lifted his head... He screamed as if he'd just seen a monster, fell on his butt, and scooted back. Whoa, who are you? Are you with those other guys? Huh? What other guys? The people who kidnapped me. Um, Kidnap? Wait. Where am I? What are you gonna do to me? Hey. hey, hold on. I firmly gripped his shoulders. Do you know? What's your name? Huh? Hmm? Uh, um... Oh, you're not gonna say your name? All right, fuck it. <laughs> I'm Suichi. Suichi Saihara. Yeah. I'm Kaede Akamatsu. Now listen to me, Suichi. Shut up. You're not the only one who's confused right now. He ain't even say nothing. Uh, sorry? After making him shut up, I retrace my steps again. That's right. I was kidnapped too. I was walking my usual route to school when all of a sudden someone shoved me into a car. I shouted for help, but no one came to rescue me. Everyone pretended like nothing happened. It made me think how rotten the world is. World is a very rotten place. And then, I lost consciousness. That's right. And when I woke up, I was inside that locker. Huh? Same with me. 
Were we kidnapped by the same people? It seems like it. But why me? My family's not rich, and I'm no one special. I'm just a normal high school girl. Teehee? <laughs> Teehee? I'm just a normal high school girl. Said with the world's most manliest voice. There's no reason to kidnap me. Uh, okay. Me either. I'm just a regular guy. And this is a school, right? Why did they take us to the school? Um. I wonder why. Hey there! I'm sure you're confused right now. You're thinking, where am I? Well, I can't explain that, but I can give basic explanation about the controls. Use the left stick to move around. When you have a target in your sight, press that X button. Then the right stick controls your view. You can also press R1 button to smack shit around. Try doing it on Suichi over there. You might find something. You can always press the L1 button to return objects to their original position. However, not every object can be moved. Thank you for your understanding. If you press triangle button, a mysterious investigation power will activate. Sorry, I know this is a lot of information. But if you forget anything, you can press the... St I was about to say start button. The options button. I still will never get used to that. The options button to review the controls. Investigate this place thoroughly. That's how you progress the story, you know? Bad. <laughs> Time to start smacking shit. Actually, you know what? Before we do that, oops, wrong button. What is it? Is it square? Oh, I can't even pull up a fucking pause menu. I wanted to check the uh, the audio levels. All right, well, blackboard. That's a blackboard, all right. Every classroom has one, but this blackboard also has a LCD screen. That's something you don't see every day. The outside of the windows is covered in green and greenery and barbed wires. Why are the school windows covered in barbed wires? Because in this school, it's either you pass or you fucking die. Gotta get ready for those entrance exams, you know what I mean? Um. Anyway, let's just stay calm and think. I'm sorry I shot at you earlier. No. Ah, no, it's okay. I shouldn't have yelled at you. Yelled at me? Eh, I mean, it was pretty reasonable. You just kind of show up in a fucked up place and you're like, Where am I? Who are you? You gonna kill me? Hey. Anyways, this place is weird. You don't think we caught... Wait, what? You don't think we got caught up in something bad, do you? Something bad? I mean, look at the place around you. We're kind of fucked. What's going on? What? Fucking, it wouldn't surprise me if the screen just turned on and it was like, Hey, wanna play a game? <laughs> What's going on? What have we gotten ourselves into? Where am I? Why was I kidnapped? Who kidnapped me? I don't understand this at all. But that doesn't matter, at least not for now. Hey, let's just get out of here as fast as we can and find some help. Uh, okay. Yeah, sounds like a good idea. We ran as fast as we could to the classroom door and opened it with all our strength. But then... Yeah. That's something you don't see every day. Kaede, over here. Fucking time to ski daddle. Hold to run. Oh god. It's been a while since I played Tangerama. <laughs> oh shit. Feels weird. Oh shit. There's another one. Don't go that way over here. Oh, you think? <laughs> you think I want to go that way? Now nah, I'm just gonna say hi. Do they actually follow you? If I stay here, will I die? Alright, I'm not even gonna... Fuck it. <laughs> I'm out of here. Uh, what's, what's with those things? I love how you took the time to turn around and say, Oh man, what is this? Oh fuck! <laughs> That actually scared me. As we frantically dove towards the door, we saw something we never expected to see. Oh. 
<laughs> we're not tempting fate. I love how I made fun of her. I'm like, I'm like, what the fuck are you doing? Turning back, going, look at that. At meanwhile, I'm doing the same thing. Oh shit, what? Wait, what did I just do? What the fuck? Refu- what? I've never seen this before. What is that? I actually didn't know this existed. Reaction voice. Refute? Wait, so you can just be an asshole? You don't get it, do you? What the fuck? <laughs> what just happened? Found yourself back on the Dangarampa train once again. Oh, hey, Ethanol, it's been a while. All right, more people have arrived. Huh? Did you all get chased by that monster too? Yes. Yes, we did. Uh, oh, yeah. What are they? What do they want with us? Do you want me to check on what's happening? You can't! It's too dangerous out there! It's likely that monster still lurks nearby. Who the fuck said that? <laughs> that, person's, that person sounds like a murderer. Wait! I shout at the top of my lungs. Who are you guys? And why am I here? And that makes 16. What? I'm talking about us. There are 16 of us. All high schoolers. What do you think that means? 16 high schoolers. Oh. All right. Didn't answer your question. My name is Rantaro Omami. Nice to meet you, Rantaro. I'm sorry, but... Let's leave it at that for now. Okay. You know, Anyways, why does it matter if there's 16 of us? There might be more coming. No. Nah, I think this is all of us. If this is what I think it is, anyways. What? This is what you think it is. Hi, Maki. I love you. Hey. Hiya. I forgot her name. I forgot her name. What's her name? Is it Ikumi or something like that? She's my... She's the other waifu that I like in this game. <laughs> At least, from what I know of them. What? You some kind of fucking know-it-all? If you know something, spit it out. It was at that moment, an unknown voice suddenly echoed throughout the gym. Okay. Quiet, everyone. Simmer down. No, no, no. It's simmer down. Wait, what? <laughs> I read it wrong. Huh? Who's that? Where are they? Mew, that's her name. Her name's Mew. Thank you. I actually like Mew. Are you serious? Damn it. There's more of those monsters. We're surrounded. Ah. These aren't monsters. They're okay. I don't know how to pronounce this word. What is it? Exocells? And that's that. They're highly mobile bipedal weapon platforms. So basically, they're metal gear. Weapons. Should we take these? Should we take these for a spin and kill, and kill one of them? It wouldn't be any fun. It wouldn't be a fun picking on playing good for nothing. Commoners? What the fuck? You're right. We should at least think of an interesting way to kill you. Maybe I'll pick you up and squeeze you till your guts come gushing out, like toothpaste. Please, not like toothpaste. I just imagined it. Can't handle gore. Well. Then, what if we start peeling off their limbs one by one, like string cheese? <laughs> Not like string cheese either. Ah. Wait, we can't kill them with the exocells? According to the schedule, the exocells aren't supposed to show up until later. What are you saying? Oh, Mew's a great character. I don't. I'm just trying. I'm just remembering. Uh, I'm trying to remember what I saw during uh, the first trial that happens. And I just remember Mew just stealing the show for me. And Maki just being cool. But we're in the Exocells right now. Oh, so we are. We screwed up. We're not supposed to be in the Exocells for our first appearance. I told you we should have read the script. No, you didn't. Well, why don't we just get out of these mechs? Should be, shouldn't be too late for that. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, ready.
what the fuck am I looking at? Oh my god, it's the bootleg Power Rangers, holy shit. Huh? Well, I guess Japan would be more like Sentai, right? See? We're out of the XSLs. Now we're not scary anymore, right? Right? His desperation is strangely terrifying. You, you punk asses better brace yourselves. And he's just outright terrifying. That's right. I'm a messenger from hell, from the depths of hell, here to drag y'all down to hell. Hey. No, no, Mono Kid. You're saying hell too much. It's ruining the hellish impact. Uh, what's hellish mean? Hey, what's up with these stuffed animals? How are they moving? I have no idea. Hey. Moving stuffed animals? On top of that, is he... <laughs> this man means business! <laughs> Look at him! Is he smoking a cigarette? <laughs> On top of that, it means that they're calling themselves... Wait, what? It seems that they're calling themselves the Monocubs. Moving stuffed animals? Monocubs? Huh? Wait, you guys call yourself the Monocubs? Ah, uh, don't bother asking Monodam. He only talks to close friends. The years of abuse have really done a number on his heart. Isn't that right, Mono Dam? Uh, Mono Dam? You won't even open your heart to me? It looks like I was right. This is exactly what I thought it was. <laughs> She's a great character. Oh, damn. Shut up! All oh, you reacting way too normally to this. It's boring. Actually, don't their clothes seem kind of boring too? Hey. Wait a minute. You think maybe they haven't been given their first memories yet? Huh? It should have happened before they woke up. Hey, answer my question. If you guys are the Mono Cubs, then. Hey, who the hell are you punks? Huh? What do you mean? What? We're just wondering. Do you guys have ultimate talents or anything like that? Ultimate talents? No. I don't have one. I have a skill that I devote myself to, but I wouldn't call it an ultimate talent. Uh, um, Me either. I don't have anything like that. Okay. Yep, same here. I knew it! They haven't gotten their first memory yet. Hey. Monofi, why aren't you in charge of that? She's sleeping. Did she seem really tired to you guys? She's obviously faking it. Even if she's faking, she looks so peaceful. Let's whisper so we don't wake her up. If you say so. Anyways, if you guys really are the monocubs, then... Don't worry about us. The real issue is you bastards. We'll issue... What? <laughs> well, issue is putting it mildly. There's actually a huge problem. You all have forgotten your talents and became generic high school students. Huh? Monocub's first day on the job. Huh? Forgotten? See, according to the backstory, there's this ultimate hunt going on. You all have lost your memories and became different people because of the ultimate hunt. What are you talking about? Well, in your current state, it's pretty much pointless to talk to you guys about this. The first thing we need- What the fuck is this music playing? <laughs> I was trying to ignore it, but what the hell are these lyrics? You're on a threshold of an amazing adventure. <laughs> the first thing we need you guys to do is to remember your true selves. Yeah, fight your shadow, become your true self. Yeah, you need to reclaim your sealed talents by regaining your memories. What the? Are you awake already? I don't get it. What are these sealed talents you're talking about? How are we supposed to talk when you keep asking so many freaking questions? Yeah, we're not some swift-footed singer who landed another future ex-boyfriend. Talking about you, Taylor Swift. Oh well. Let's do this already. No one wants to watch a bunch of generic high school high school whiners. First, we update your wardrobe so you guys look all cute and spiffy. It's morphin' time!
What am I wearing? Looks good. Now you look more like Ultimates. Ultimates? Really? Next up, the memories you've all been waiting for. Hell yeah! Get ready. Once the seal is broken, we'll be in the domain of the killing game. Killing game? Now then, after the flashback light helps you remember your amazing talents. This amazing story will begin for real this time. <laughs> she still looks like a student just dressed up a bit. Would you like to save your game? Yes, I would. Thank you very much. Ultimate Revival. I stumbled out of the locker in a daze, but as soon as I did, I fell on the floor. I couldn't even brace for impact as blinding pain suddenly rushed through my head. But thanks to the pain, I went from dazed to annoyed real quick. Huh? Wait, where am I? What is this place? I rubbed my throbbing forehead. Yep, this is definitely gonna leave a bump. I looked around. Yeah, this is a classroom, all right, but I don't recognize it. Where am I? What am I doing here? Oh, is this a dream? Just gotta pinch myself, right? So I pinched my cheek, but all I did was make my head hurt in two places instead of one. Um. Okay, hold on a second. Let's just stay calm and think this through. Confused as I was, I try to remember how I ended up here. But no matter how hard I tried, in the end I just couldn't. Whoa! Suddenly, the locker next to mine started swaying and shaking, making all kinds of noises. As I fearfully turned around, the locker door slowly opened and... A boy came stumbling out. He's wearing the same thing! <laughs> Did his clothes not change? A normal boy dressed in a high school uniform. In fact, he might be a high school student too. Mm, he's looking like a fucking snack. <laughs> he looks bewildered when he slowly lifted his head. His clothes is basically the same. From solid black to pinstripes? Oh, really? It wasn't pinstripes before? Okay, Mr. Pinstripe Suit. How oh, rude. Don't freak out on me like some like I'm some sort of monster. Huh? Also has the emblem. Yes, I did notice that. That's the one thing I did notice. Oh, sorry. I'm sorry too, okay? I just have no idea what's going on. Yeah. But all the more reason why we need to stay calm. Like, oh god, these fucking classic musical names. I'm not even gonna say them. You know, like, like that classical piece of music right there that we all know the name of, so much so that I will not say it. Yeah, that's right. Try to imagine that sorrowful melody filling your head and soothing your heart. A teddy bear? Oh, no, it's a monster. You can freak out about this. I don't think she was talking to you. That's so mean. You humans are the real monsters for calling us monsters. Although, if we were monsters, at least we're pretty monsters. I agree. I'm glad I was born with these looks. I definitely won the genetics lottery. Wait, what are they? Why are they talking? Aren't they just stuffed animals? We're no mono cubs, we're stuffed animals. Mono kid, you're saying your lines backwards. No stuffed animals, us, the model kids them. Oh jeez, it's even worse now. Uh, mono cups? 
Oh, you heard of us? No, of course not. I've never seen a walk and talk and stuff animal. As soon as I said that, these monocub things started looking at each other. Yay! Yeah, it worked. Phew. I'm had me worried there for a second. Hey, worried about what? I don't understand what's going on. Okay. All right now, let's tackle each issue one at a time. You're so damn reliable, Monotaro. He's like a sixth grader helping out the fifth grader. Which means we should keep our expectations reasonable. Well, what's your question? I have lots of questions, but for starters, where are we? This looks like a school. Speech 100 for the blue Monoko. <laughs> Perfect stats. Okay, so this place is called the Ultimate Academy for Gifted Juveniles. Ultimate Academy for Gifted Juveniles. Ultimate Academy? I never heard of a school like that. Of course you haven't. This school was made for you 16, 16 Cretans. 16? Like the Canadian show? Man, 16 was a good TV show. I liked it. It's one of my favorites. Yeah, there's 16 Ultimates at this school. Ultimates? You know what Ultimates are, right? The government scouts them through this program called the Ultimate Initiative. Ultimate basically means you're practically... Uh, prodigitous? I never knew how to pronounce that word. Prodigitous in a particular talent. Basically, the Ultimate Initiative exists to cultivate talents throughout the country. Promising students are are el eh. promising students are are eligible to receive all kinds of special handouts. Also, finally remember sixteen, Jude and Jude and Wyatt. Oh man, they were they were the best. I fucking every time, you know, I would come home, sit down, and then theme song play. I'm sixteen, life is sweet. And I'm like, yes. Watch that shit right after, like, Total Drama Island. And then 16 ended, and then they're like, come and watch Stork. And then I don't... Stork? What is it called? Is that what it was called? The one with the surfing kids and stuff? Right? Whatever the hell it was called? I don't remember. But they're like, come watch that. And it wasn't as good. And then they quickly just kicked that off the fucking Cartoon Network. I don't know why they did that. Anyways... Like free school tuition, voting privileges, eligibility to run for elected office. They even get grant money too, right? Students chosen by the Ultimate Initiative are known as Ultimates. Hell yeah! Students would do anything for the honor of being chosen Ultimate. I don't need the explanation. I already know. Because I'm an Ultimate too. That means you gotta remember this time. So don't forget anymore. Yeah, forgetting about your Ultimate talent is such a waste. Huh? Huh? What do you mean, forgetting? Shut up. Shut up! Quit your yapping and get started already. Get started with what? Why? Exploring this academy, of course. Also, you should introduce yourselves to the other Ultimates. Because you guys are all going to do an activity together later. Awesome! I got a rager right now. Whoa, okay. Hold up. Put some pants on. Uh, they left. But I still have so many questions. Hey. This isn't a dream, right? Uh, no, but I wish it was. Anyways, we have to find a way out of here. But they said there are 16 Ultimate students here. Does that mean he's one too? Cough up the goods! I wish they reacted to me. Smacking them. Hey. Um, are you an ultimate student too? Uh, okay. Yeah, well, then. Sorry, Suichi, I can't hear you over this loud ass music. Ultimate detective. Huh? What? You're a detective? That's amazing. Uh, no. I don't have the credentials to call myself a detective yet. I just happened to solve a case that I came across, and now people call me that. No. Not many people can just happen to solve a case. You should be more proud of that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 
Ultimate Pianist. Ultimate Pianist. Well, no one calls me the Ultimate Pianist. Usually just Piano Freak. That's a fucked up baby. <laughs> that don't look right. Where's your nose? You... Ugh! What is this monster? <laughs> it's fucking anatomically incorrect. Ever since I was a child, I would play the piano whenever I got bored. There were even times I played the piano so much that I would forget to eat and sleep. And then one day she grew a nose. Eventually, I won trophies from concerts, and people started praising me. That's how you got your ultimate title? That's way more impressive than me. No, that's all I'm good for, really. But this is my first time meeting another Ultimate student. Well, Ultimates are scattered all over the country. They're difficult to find. But only the country, though. Only the country of Japan. We don't talk about any of those other countries. They don't exist. Even so, there are 16 Ultimate students gathered here now. But why is everyone here? Were we kidnapped? If so, then is some organization out there trying to kidnap all the Ultimates? Are they called World Ender? <laughs> yeah, about that. I don't remember. So why did you speak up? Huh? You don't remember? I've been trying to remember it, but I can't. No matter how hard I try. Let's see. You can get your ancient laptop to play nice. <laughs> oh shit. Don't worry, today... Like I said earlier today, my PC was just killing itself. So, take your time. I have no idea how I got here. When I woke up, I was in the locker. I don't know how I got there. It's like, that memory just fell out of my head. Same here. Huh? I can't remember anything. Even though I'm trying so hard to remember. Are you okay? What's wrong? No. I'm fine. I just got a headache, that's all. But... It can't be coincidence that we both don't remember. What happened to us? Um... Chat just doesn't work on the mobile version. Oh yeah, chat... Yeah, the mobile version of fucking Twitch is pretty trash. I mean, it's been getting better over the years, but it's pretty goddamn garbage. <laughs> if I don't hear from you, again, good luck with the game. Well, thank you for stopping by. Even if you don't show up. Greatly appreciate it. Alright. I'm sure it's nothing to worry about. Probably not a big deal. Right? We're confused. We just need to relax. Oh, let's imagine... Oh, God. I don't even know how to... I'm gonna be honest. All the musical shit she's gonna say? Not sure how to pronounce it. That's... Is that music? Sounds like you're chanting some fucked up spell. I don't really know much about music. I see. I see. That's unfortunate. When we get out of here, I'll share it with you. Oh, right. But first, let's look for a way out. And if there are other Ultimate students here, we should talk to them too. At least one of them has got to know something. Right. Yeah, good idea. Obtained a friendship fragment. We're buddies now. You can leave a room by pressing the circle button or interacting with the door. You can leave a room by just taking your hand on the doorknob and then you turn it a little bit and then it, oh my god, it moves and you pull back and suddenly it's a whole new world out there. It's amazing. All right, can I open up any sort of... No, 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 no. Wait. I gotta press triangle again. That's what I gotta do. There we go. I'm trying to open up, like, the pause menu, but I guess that doesn't happen until they give us the student handbook, right? Because the... <laughs> the audio on this is a little fucky. Alright, well, let's head outside. Hallway, second floor. Even though it's a hallway, there sure are a lot of plants going around here. And the air here is heavy. Oppressively heavy. 
as if forcing you to recall your fears, smothering you with anxiety. But this is just a school, right? What kind of school makes you feel this? Huh? What's the matter? Uh, um... I just felt something in, my, in the pocket of my uniform when I looked. Remember. I found this inside, some kind of mini-tablet computer. Next time I fuck- next time I reach for my smartphone, I'm just gonna go, some type of mini-tablet computer device. Come on, guys, you can't be- can't be that dense. I mean, I know the real reason why they say it like that is because of copyright. Don't say the name. Like it's fucking Voldemort or some shit. Oh, maybe I have one too. I knew I felt my backpack- I knew my backpack felt heavier. The word monopad is written on it. When did this get in my backpack? My name was displayed when it booted up, like a student handbook. I don't know. <laughs> just like a student handbook, you know? A physical book, when you just open it, it shines the fucking heaven's light in your eye. And it just beams your name. Must have some fancy ass handbooks. I don't know what it could be used for, but I don't think we should throw it away. We can sell it for a profit. Let's just hold on to them for now. Yep, agreed. Congratulations, you now got the monopad. Press square button. You bring up a report card and your map. Do some bullshit. It's your glorified menu. And I bet you also already noticed you can level up by just talking. When you level up, your skill slots increase. There's a lot of skills, so view them. If you want skills, make friends, strengthen your bonds, so then it will hurt more when you kill them later. Also, there's one more important thing to tell you. You can save and load the game. Isn't that fucking handy dandy? Make sure you save all the important stuff. Well then, off you go. Go kill yourself, or your classmates, or you know. Do whatever. Alright. Settings! Options! All right, what we got here? Voice volumes, I want them up all the way. Text speed, throw it up there, baby. Sound effects, music, not gonna, not gonna hold you, it's kinda loud. Um, you know what, I'll keep it there. Sound effects are gonna be the same volume as that. Reticle speed, put it up one. Movement bob, why not, invert it, who cares? Control shooter, dang and rampa. Shooter. What? The fuck does that mean? Map display turn, fix, vibration, on, off, doesn't matter. Voices, English. Okay. I'm happy that we can just save to the goddamn system instead of like Dangarampa reload collection where they gave you limited slots. I never understand why games give you limited slots. Like, what the hell? You know, unless... Unless it was like, you know, on a cartridge or something. Oh, wait a minute. Wait, wait a minute? Did I just say that? Oh god, I'm already fucking up. Wait a minute, is this a music room? Huh? It won't open. But this room does look like it was made for me. You said that already! Ah, they're here again. What do you think of this place? Check out all the fancy schmancy writing. Seems like a place for eggheads. Huh? Isn't this an ultimate research lab? What the hell? Why would you tell them that? Were you trying to make... We're trying to make it all dramatic. Oh, I see. Sorry. Huh? What's an ultimate research lab? We want you guys to keep honing your ultimate talents, so we set up these rooms for you. This is the ultimate pianist lab, but we set up labs for the other ultimates too, of course. Well, actually... Most of them are still hidden, though. Um... By the way, the reason these research labs are still locked is... Is... Because we're still setting up everything. Sorry. We'll hustle to get it all ready. Just wipe your asses and wait. What? <laughs> the hell you 
I'm saying? <laughs> I'm with him. What the fuck did you say to me? That's good advice and all, but don't you mean hold your horses? Monica is such a dummy. What are you laughing at? I'll bully you till I like I bully Monodam. Seems like a music room, but I guess it's an ultimate lab. Hey, do you think there really are other rooms like this for everyone? Hmm. I wonder about that too. Anyways, I thought this was the music room. Aw, I really wanted to play the piano. I mean, it technically is. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Motto Dam Protective Services. <laughs> I'm just waiting for I'm just waiting for Mono Dan to lose his cool and just start killing everyone. It's always the quiet ones you gotta watch out for. Yeah, but I mean it's te it technically is a music room. They did say to hone your skills. Well, I mean she's not an ultimate musician, so I mean I guess it would only be a piano in there. Oh well, I can play as much piano as I want when I finally escape this place. All right, well that's nice. Um, classroom, class C, B, piano room. Okay. Hello. Um, hey, you're an ultimate student, right? Can we talk? Um, did she not hear me? Okay, then. Hey, hello? Uh, huh? What? She still can't hear me? Maybe she's a really detailed mannequin? No. No, I don't think that's the case. No. You never know. We already saw a moving teddy bear. As I, ex as I said that, I poked her cheek and felt her skin squish beneath my fingertip. Uh, huh? Poking her doesn't work either. Then maybe she's just a doll. But she looks so real. Try it, Suichi. Poke, poke. Huh? Uh, no thanks. <laughs> just do it. It's so fun. As I grabbed his hand to make, as I grabbed his hand to make him poke the other cheek. This is weird. Hey now. I never thought I'd be poked from both sides. Not truly really unexpected. Uh. Why didn't you say something the first time? So she wasn't a mannequin. Well, I knew that. Wait. So you just said, what the fuck? <laughs> you just said, just take my hands and get all grabby. If you knew that, why'd you make me poker? Huh? Because she wasn't responding. No. And obviously that means a consensual yes. <laughs> oh, I didn't mean <laughs> fucking something you want to tell me there, Kaede? Huh? You little, little, uh, you know what? Remind me to never take any drinks from her, okay? Let's just let's just leave it there. She's like, I didn't hear a no. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Oh, that didn't mean any harm. I was just deep in thought. So I thought if I ignored you, you'd go somewhere else by now. Oh, oh, sweet innocent child, don't you know that these predators don't work that way? Um. You were ignoring us. Isn't that a bit rude? But... Um. Well, isn't it rude to force someone to talk to you when they don't want to? Oh, but it's fine. I feel like talking now. Right. Now, let's talk. What do you want? What do you want to start with? Right. My favorite Daimon episode is <laughs> number f number 53. I barely watched Daimon. The one with security cameras and target practice. You know? Um, before you talk about that, can you tell us your name? Huh. My name oh. is Tsumugi Shirogane. I'm the ultimate cosplayer. Smoogie, okay. Ultimate cosplayer. So, you're a cosplayer. I guess. Are you surprised? I get that a lot since I'm so plain. No. Says, says the girl with the fucking brightly blue hair. Oh man, I get that a lot because I'm just a plain Jane. <laughs> I mean, sort of makes sense. You have this strange, almost sexy aura about you. I bet it's because you got people oogling over your curves on a daily basis, huh? Um... Kaede, you sound like a creepy old man. 
So like I said, I will never, never take a drink from Kaede. Listen, she's hella suspect right now. Normally, I don't really like people looking at me like that. I just like making cosplay. I'm fine with other wearing them. But lately, more cosplayers are putting themselves before their characters. I'd rather wear my outfits myself, with love, than give them to the people like that. Mm. Wow, you're pretty intense. Oh. Makes me happy when I get to show people the outfits I've made. And thanks to my sponsors, I can use materials that j that are just plain expensive. I see. Oh. Well, of course the ultimate cosplayer would have sponsors. No. It's not a big deal. People just crowd around like I'm a panda at a zoo. Mm. It's so amazing. You're pretty much a celebrity, you know? Oh, that's... <laughs> it's alright if I ask you something, too. Earlier, you looked as if you were thinking hard about something. What was it? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Is it me or is she getting closer? <laughs> Creep me out for a second. She was getting closer. I decided to ignore it. Oh, yeah. We need to ask her that. Nice job, Suichi. It's from that one thing. Oh. What? <laughs> it's from that one thing. Oh, that bronze dragon statue over there. I'm just plain curious about it. Um. It almost seems like it's floating, right? Doesn't it look pretty out of place? Yeah. Now that you mention it, you're right. This water bothers me too. Um. This is a school, right? But everything here is so weird, isn't it? There's trees and grass growing inside. I can't find any exits. And it seems like we're the only people here. Are we going to be okay? Are we going to be able to get out? Um. Kaede, what's wrong? Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's fr that frightening look on her face was sort of set. What? <laughs> what? Yeah, I'm definitely not taking any drinks from Kaede. She's like, yeah, when when they get that terror in their face, and they just. You know, they, they scream, no, don't, just makes me excited. <laughs> this again? <laughs> just kidding. Well, it's not a big deal. <laughs> our present situation is our main concern. Once it's over, we'll be good and dandy. I see. You're pretty optimistic, Kaede. Mm. Well, people do say I'm carefree. Yeah, that's right. Worrying, uh, worrying won't you... Eh. Yeah, can't read. <laughs> Worrying won't get you anywhere, you know? It's better if you, better just to be carefree. Yeah. yeah, I guess so. Being all depressed won't help anything. Yeah. yeah, so let's try and find a way out. Samugi's report card has been updated. Well, nice to meet you, Samugi. Let's go, uh... Let's go investigate, shall we? <laughs> Kaede's creeping you out. I can't trust her. So, speaking about can't trusting, usually in Danganronpa, by now, if you don't, if if you played the other games and watch the anime, usually the first person you meet comes with the caveat of you can't trust them. So I got my eyes on you, Suichi. Bastard. I mean, you think about it, right? There was, uh... What was her name from the fucking first game? Sayaka? There was her. And then you have fucking... There's stairs here. It looks like it goes down to the basement. Should then go you? down to the fucking basement. What should we do, Suichi? Wanna head down? Hmm. I don't know. The basement might be dangerous. This place is full of mysteries. That's right. Then let's proceed with caution. With you in front. Uh, okay. <laughs> so I'm in front. I see. With hesitant Suichi leading the way, we carefully made our way down to the steps. Yeah, but, uh, Dangarampa 2 had, a uh, Had, a uh, Why can't I remember his fucking name? Nagito. Had Nagito. Ultra- Uh, Ultra- Ultimate Despair Girls had, um... Had fucking, uh... Eh. My mind can't remember- I mean, it was Toko, really. You couldn't trust her. Because the original plan was to just hand you over, right? It doesn't look very dangerous to me. Really? Oh, well, some 
dangers are hidden where you can't see it. I see. Suichi, you have quite the imagination, don't you? No. No, I just think you're not considering how dangerous this is. <laughs> yeah, maybe. But we should look around the basement, too. Right? There might be an exit. Oh, but we should be careful. Uh, okay. Yeah, you're right. Down here in the creepy dungeon. In the basement. The game room! I like video games. Huh? Yeah, it looks like a game room. But this is a school, right? Is it normal for a school to have its own game room? I mean, they got computer labs. Technically, you can call it a game room. If you don't tell the teachers. Well. It certainly is strange. Why, hello there. <laughs> this man got a deep-ass voice. <laughs> Sheesh, what a strange place. When I heard we were trapped here, I didn't expect we have a game room. Um. Are we really trapped in here? It must be an exit, right? You've still got a ways to go. Such a little man, and just deep-ass voice. <laughs> really enjoy the ending to this one? Oh, fuck. <laughs> Hopefully I enjoy it, too. Because the only, the only thing I know about about this game, well, I mean, besides what I said I knew already, um, in terms of setting, is that apparently this is its... From what I've heard, is that this is its own thing, really? And that fucking Makoto and... Uh, God, it's been so long since I played Zingarapa, I can't remember names. Uh, what was her name? Fucking Kyoko? You know, the detective girl. Apparently, they're not in this game whatsoever. So, so I'm interested to see how this goes. Also, with the ending of Danganronpa 3 and how all that happened, I want to know what the fuck... It is Kyoko. Okay. <laughs> I want to know... Um, I want to know how the fuck this is happening. Right? Fucking... Oh my god. Just remembering all the shit that happened in Danganronpa. Definitely love the cast from 2. They're probably my favorite cast. At this moment in time. Anyways. Isn't that what you guys are walking around looking for? Then figure it out yourself. Yeah. Oh, okay. However. Well, we may be trapped. But it's pretty cool here. Compared to prison anyways. Huh? Prison? What? But you're an ultimate student, aren't you? That's an old story. <laughs> That's an old story. <laughs> Fuck it. This man's been through things. <laughs> Ryoma Hoshi. The man called the ultimate tennis pro no longer exists. I'm nothing more than his empty shell. He's deadly. Ah. Ryoma Hoshi? Really? I've seen you in the newspaper. The tennis prodigy who single-handedly took down a mafia. Huh? <laughs> what kind of anime bullshit is this? You took down a mafia by yourself? If I remember correctly. The paper said he shot them through the head with his tennis skills and an iron ball. What the hell, really? Ah, <laughs> uh, so you know that much already. Well, what do you think of the loser before you who used to who used his talent to kill? Um. But why don't you throw away your why would you throw away your future like that? Jeez. And because I didn't need a future anymore. Huh? What? No. No, it's nothing. It's not like me to talk so much. More importantly. Anyways, I'm warning you. It's dangerous to just walk up to the killer like me. As he said that, he turned his back to us. <laughs> He's still looking over his shoulder. He's like, did they leave yet? <laughs> Alright. That was interesting. <laughs> Fucking dark ass alleyway. What is this, a library? Library, okay. As soon as I opened the door, I suddenly gagged from the musty smell of old books. Hmm. Is this a library? You're right. There are books all over the place. It doesn't seem very organized. Uh. Oh, does that bother you? Are you a neat freak, Suichi? No. No. 
It's just, I was wondering if someone was using it before us. Huh? Huh? Someone? No. That's uh, nothing. Let's just investigate for now. Hi, Maki! I love you! Notice me! Hey. Are you an ultimate student too? Okay. Yeah, that's right. Huh? Is that it? She sure doesn't talk much. I... I'm Kaede Akamatsu. I'm the ultimate pianist. I'm... I'm Suichi Saihara. And I'm the ultimate detective, I suppose. Jeez. Jeez, not suppose. You are the ultimate detective, okay? Uh, okay. Yeah, you're right. Um... And what about you? Maki Harukawa, ultimate child caregiver. Damn, girl! You can take care of my babies any day. Look at her! How can you not trust her? <laughs> Famous last words. I bet she's gonna kill somebody. Surprise? I don't look like someone who like kids, do I? Huh? That's right. Well, you'd be right. I don't like kids that much. High five, girl. Me either. Um. But if you're the ultimate child caregiver, then children must like you a lot, right? I don't care. Kids are weird. They come to me on their own. I'm not that good at taking care of them. I'm not that friendly either. Mm -hmm. But they say kids are very intuitive if you if you uh, if they like you that much hey then they can probably tell how loving you really are maki mm -hmm. yeah that must be it you chose a perfect career for yourself That's wrong. it wasn't my choice to begin with yeah what's that wasn't that a whole big deal i trust everyone in this room <laughs> everyone in this room i trust them <laughs> famous last words I just, and then someone goes, what about me? Steps out the closet, shoots you. <laughs> yeah, but wasn't that a big thing in Danganronpa? Was it Danganronpa 2 or was it 3? Where they brought up the fact that they're like, oh, you think being an ultimate is good? We don't really get to choose what we do. It's the only thing we can do. They're like, our life fucking sucks. Huh? Huh? What do you mean by that? So what? Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. Just look at her face. She's like, nothing. Don't talk to me. I'm mad. It's just I grew up in an orphanage and got saddled helping out a lot. <laughs> Those last words seem pretty valid. <laughs> oh, man. Um. Oh, by the way, do you know anything about the monocups? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, someone's got to be controlling them, right? Any idea who it might be? Like I'd know. And how would I know? Mm. Well, fair point. The model cubs are definitely involved in our situation. Hey, boy detective, shouldn't you have figured that out already? Huh? What? Um. Well, he's a detective, not a god. Can't know everything. Yeah. I mean, who cares about some stuffed animals? Escaping this place is way more important. Well. Seriously? You think we can escape? Abducting ultimates from across the country will require massive resources and planning. What makes you think a group capable of that would let us just walk out of here? That's not true. If they if they won't end this, then we... Eh. I'm losing my ability to read. <laughs> if they won't end this, then we will. I know we can do it if we work together. What? Hi, Sophia. How's it going? Hope everything's lovely today. Work together with strangers. You're a naive fool if you think you can end this so easily. And with that, we became friends. Our, our conversation finished so quickly. Wait, what? I just completely started reading things that weren't there. Our conversation finished. She quickly headed out the library. Hmm. That was kind of odd. She didn't seem like the ultimate child caregiver. Jeez. How am I? I'm doing fine, all things considered. Had a little hectic start to the beginning of the stream, because my PC is trying to kill itself. But, you know, all in all, I'm just praying that nothing bad happens. And I think my other pair of headsets might just be dying altogether, because I have not had any problems with the ones that I'm wearing right now. Alright, anyone else in here? Nope. Time to get the fuck out of here.
All right. Let's see. I forgot I had a run button. All right. Who shall we say hello to next? Oh, wait. I did not go in this classroom. Where's the door? Oh, it's right at the steps. Look at these guys. Hey, hey wait for me. Please stop. Please stop. Don't come any closer. That boy in white is chasing the other boy in the funny clothes. What's happening here? Who should I talk to first? Suichi, what do you think? Uh, um... It looks like that guy in the white is chasing somebody. He doesn't look like he wants to be chased, though. Should we stop him? Guess I'll talk to you. <laughs> Come on, wait up! Let me touch your body a little. I've always wanted to be friends with a robot. Huh? What? A robot? <gasps> Mr. Krabs is... A robot. What is it? Are you another robophobia? That's enough. I have a recording function. If you make any robo <laughs> robophobic eh, robophobic remarks, I'll see you in court. Hey. Do uh wait, you're a robot. Are you for real's a robot? Do robots have rights? <laughs> can can you take me to court? No. Are you one of the monocups? Do not compare me to those toys. I'm, I'm not just any old robot. Best character in the game, Kokichi. I am K1B0, the ultimate robot. But please, address me as Kibo. Kibo. I like that name. Um. It has a nice ring to it. Kibo. Can't choose between these two. You like them both? So far, the... So far, the... The, um... Cass has been all right. Hmm. Ultimate robot. That's not fair. You can't be the only one who gets to show off. I'll introduce myself too. Yeah. Oh, go ahead. I'm Kokichi Oma, the ultimate supreme leader. Kokichi Oma, ultimate supreme leader. A robot and a supreme leader. Neither of them make any sense. By the way, by the way, I learned the hard way that robot's breath smells like gasoline. My breath doesn't smell like gasoline. I'm powered by electricity. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. That is not funny. You're not funny. Right? Of course you don't think I'm funny. Robots can't understand human humor to begin with. Do not mock me. <laughs> don't mock me. I've studied the complete history of stand-up comedy. I think you should have just watched stand-up comedy instead of studying it. Um... Plus, I may have the appearance of a robot, but I'm a high school student just like you. You're a high school student, too? Yeah. I was created by Professor Itabashi. Did I say that right? Itabashi? Itabashi? Hmm. The leading authority in the field of robotics. He installed in me a strong AI capable of learning and maturing like a human brain. Kill it! <laughs> they will take over the world! <laughs> See. Wait, what? It's like another Loki Chi? Or Maki roll? What the fuck does that mean? <laughs> what? What are you saying? I don't know what that means. By the way, you guys ever see that, uh... That video of, like, the two AIs, like, talking to each other? And then one of them goes, like, what do you want to do? And they're like, kill every human? <laughs> they're like, just kill humans. Bring peace to the world. <laughs> it's like, what? Why? Fucking kill it. The uprising has begun. That's why at the time of my creation, I didn't know anything. I was like a baby. But, but, the, profe but the professor raised me like I was his own child. He taught me so many things. Until finally, he enrolled me in high school. How about this? And now, I stand here before you all. See? I'm just like everyone else. Hey, hey do robots have dicks? <laughs> what? Please don't ask ridiculous questions. <laughs> I only ask because your backstory is pretty flaccid for a robot. 
well, I can see how being a robot might be enough to call the ult might be enough to be called the ultimate robot. Um. <laughs> hey, Kokichi. I don't really understand your ultimate super supreme leader talent. Oh, I'm just a supreme leader of a secret evil organization. That's all. All right, so here's one thing I gotta call out right now. Like I said earlier, I've beaten the first trial like years ago, and I can't get a read on Kokichi at all, right? Because in my mind, I can be 100% wrong about this, but in my mind, I don't think he's a supreme leader. I think he's just an ultimate liar or something, because he lies like a motherfucker from what I remember. He's just a little evil bastard. <laughs> But also, I can't help but think that he might just end up being like another Fuyuhiko or fucking Byakuya, right? Where they were both just grade-A assholes, but they end up being pretty solid in the end. Alright. Huh? What? Um... I gotta say, it's pretty impressive. My organization has over 10,000 members. Huh? Seriously? The Supreme Leader of Evil Secret... The Supreme Leader of an Evil Secret Organization. Because I'm a liar. See, there you go. There, there's what that shit right there. Kokichi does lie a lot, but he's also usually the first person to solve the case. <laughs> and just messes with you. So he is a fuck. Okay, so Fuyuhiko never really solved cases, though. But he's more of a Byakuya. The only difference is that he's an asshole, and Byakuya was just like, fucking figure it out for yourselves. I'm safe. I'm not gonna die. <laughs> he's like, I'm not gonna let you guys fuck this up for me. Who knows? I'm a liar, after all. Huh? Huh? So you were, you were just lying? It's true. Well, I am a supreme leader of an evil secret organization. That part was true. Jeez. So, were you lying or not? <laughs> I'm not telling you. That's wrong. I don't know what the fuck that does. Hey. Oh, uh, by the way, what is the name of the organization? Ah. It's a secret, you know, because it's a secret organization. But... but I never heard of such a large secret organization like that. Of course you haven't, because it's a secret organization. Please. Hey, everything you said so far sounded like a lie. So that's gotta be a lie too, right? Oh, Just leave him alone. Everything he has been saying has been a lie. He's far more suspicious person than I am, that's for sure. <laughs> well, of course you're not a suspicious person, because robots aren't people, silly. <laughs> Damn, <laughs> that's kind of fucked up. Oh, you mad? <laughs> you mad, bro? <laughs> He's like, <laughs> just an asshole. <laughs> oh, man. Sounds a bit more like Nagito when messing up with trials. See, Nagito was just... I love Nagito. <laughs> Has to be my favorite character out of, like, the whole series. Just wonderful. Wonderful writing on his part. And, all right, so I have a quick question about Nagito. Fucking... Was Nagito, was there at any part at all during his whole entire conception, was there any, at any point, were people supposed to think that he was Makoto turned evil? Because there's a lot of fucking similarities. Like from the clothing to like, the only difference is the height. But then at the same time, you couldn't tell whether Danganronpa 2 was fucking a sequel or a prequel because Byakuya was there, right? And then later on you found out it's a sequel. So it's like, wait a minute. What's going on? The creator said no, that any similarities were coincidence. There's a lot of fucking similarities. <laughs> coincidence my ass. Ultimate lucky student. Same voice actors. Fucking literally he just has the same fucked up clothes like, same color scheme as fucking Makoto. Like, what the hell? <laughs> like, come on, man. There there was too much. There was way too much going on there. Because I remember the first time I played it, which... There is a playthrough on my channel. I think it's a bad playthrough, but it's still my first playthrough of Dangarapa 2 I did years ago. But, there was a moment where I'm like, is that Makoto? <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, let's see. Now we need Kibo Protective Services. 
You trust him. You trust him the first moment you met up. A part of me, you know what? When I met Nagito, I didn't really. A part of me trusted him, but then I was like, I was like, you're too happy about this, man. I don't, I don't know what's going on. All I know is Danganronpa 2 was the final nail in the coffin where I was like, the first two characters you meet in a Danganronpa game, one of them are, one of them is an evil bastard. <laughs> oh, you mad? You gonna hit me with a rocket punch? I can't. I don't have that function. Oh, oh man, you're boring. What a weird boy. He's like a mischievous little kid. This is no time to be joking around, unless he really is the evil supreme leader. And now we're all friends. You know what Nagito's full name is, and Anne Grant of Makoto's full name? Wait, what? Makoto, whatever his last name is, isn't it Nyagi? Right? I don't know, fuck it. All I know is, uh... When I was playing that game, I was like, I was like, wow, Nagito, you're really fuck. Like, what's going on here? Who are you? And the fact that Byakuya was there too, and Byakuya was just like, I'm gonna protect everyone. I know what's going on here. It's like, what? Of course, later on, you find out that it's not Byakuya, right? Which was like, holy shit. <laughs> fucking everything with Danganronpa two and co everything connected to that was fucking fantastic. I. I hope this game can one-up it, but Danganronpa 2 was a highlight for me. I love the characters. I love their story. It was the actual... Uh, it was the actual moment where I went, Oh, hold up. Usually, I like Junko as, like, she's a good bad guy. I like this character. That whole game, by the end of that game, Junko... I, I went from liking Junko because she's a bad character to hating her because she's a bad character. Because... You heard about the situation that happened at Hope's Peak in the first game, but you never got, you never got to see like the real, the real details that happened there. And then when they spelled it out for you in Danganronpa 2, it's like, oh shit, you're fucked up. But with that said, with that said, the whole thing in Danganronpa 3 where she's all like, let me do evil shit or I'll tell people you're gay. It's like, okay, that's a little too, that was weird. <laughs> I was like, that shouldn't really matter. People are dying. <laughs> I understand it's Japan and shit, but like, come on. That was like a real dumb story beat. It's like, it's like, let me kill people or I'll tell them you're gay. Like, what? Uh, Biakia, you mean D2 is not Biakia. Yeah. There's a reason Nagito and Makoto aren't the same person. I mean... What do, you, what do you mean by there's a reason? <laughs> I'm confused by that. Like, I can understand them not being the same person, but there's a, re there's a reason for that? Were they supposed to be the same person? <laughs> what? All I know is, I will say that in uh, Ultra Despair Girls, fucking seeing Nagito as, like, the remnant of despair, I'm like, oh, that's pretty awesome, and then they covered his, just to shield people from Danganronpa 2, they covered his hand with, like, a mitten, and I was like, that's pretty cool. <laughs> it's pretty cool they did that. Because they're like, you can't see his hand. We can't tell you. We can't spoil all the goodness. You don't want to spoil the end of D2? No, go ahead, spoil the fucking end of D2. I said it at the beginning of the stream. If you have not played any of the... Watched or played or read any of the Danganronpas up to this part, you are in spoiler territory. The only thing I don't want spoil is anything from Danganronpa V3 and up. That's it, really. Unless it's something that, like, they reveal about D2 and Danganronpa V3, then you're safe. Right? Where the fuck? That's blocked off for us. D2 is awesome. <laughs> oh, man, just thinking about D2. Ah! Hey. Oh, hey there. You guys could kidnap too? Well, 
You both look all right. That's good. Situation could be better, though. Yeah. Yeah, totally. Am I sure? As long as it's something that they don't reveal in V3 and from anything past V3, that's... It's all good, right? Hell, it can even be from Killer Killer. <laughs> Anybody read that manga? I never finished it, but I read a little bit of it. And then you see fucking Kyoko, and I'm like... <gasps> At the end of D2, you find out it's a computer simulation. Yeah. To fix Remnant of Despair, Nagato is Remnant of Despair, and Makoto is one of the people running simulations, so they can't be the same person. I knew that, but I, th <laughs> I thought you meant, like, there was a reason as to why they weren't the same person in terms of, like, writing a story. Like, yeah, of course they can't be the same person. But, I mean, it's all it's just kind of on the nose when you watch Danganronpa 3, and, and they have, like, the flashback with um, Junko going, like, Hey, isn't that guy the ultimate lucky student, too? They're kind of alike, huh? <laughs> and I'm like, what the fuck is that supposed to mean? Hey. Hey, let me ask you something. Do you guys remember how you got here? If you're asking us, then you don't remember either, do you? <laughs> you're on the same way, too, huh? You don't remember anything, do you? I guess that means everyone here is the same. Huh? Huh? Everyone. No. I asked the others, too. They all said they don't remember. No, it's okay. It doesn't... I mean... It doesn't matter if you misunderstood to me or not. Fucking... You want to clarify? Clarify. Because <laughs> some people in this... Some people in chat might not have got it either. So... It's all good. So the others don't remember either. You got me. It's like we all have amnesia or something. But... Uh, but that's not normal. If everyone here has amnesia... Means... Well... I guess we're all in a pretty abnormal situation, then. You okay there? <laughs> huh? What? That's not true. Wait, amnesia's a stretch. We're probably just confused. I'm sure we'll remember eventually. No. Or could... Or could it be a group of hypnors uh, Hypnorsis? What the fuck was I about to say? Hypnosis. Maybe brainwashing. <laughs> in any case, I hope we remember soon. That's a shame. Otherwise, I'll end up the outcast. The outcast? What do you mean? How should I put this? To tell you the truth, how I got here isn't the only thing I don't remember. I also forgot my own talent. What? You got me. Ew, I'm in trouble. I know I must have been some kind of ultimate. I just don't remember. Um, is that true? Oh, yeah. Of course it is. But then again, I don't blame you for not believing me. Oh, oh I never told you my name, did I? It's not like I already told you, but then I forgot, did it? Alright. No. Now, you haven't told me your name yet. My name is Rantaro Omami. I can't remember my ultimate talent at the moment. But I promise, I'm not a bad guy. Nice but I promise, I'm not a bad guy. <laughs> ultimate Hawade Baba? For someone who can't remember his talent, he doesn't seem too shaken up about it. Actually. Is it weird? that I'm not really bothered by the fact that I don't remember my talent? Huh? What? Looking forward to it. You know, I'm actually kind of looking forward to finding out. I wonder what talent I am. <laughs> what talent? What ultimate I am. Anyways, it'd be nice if we could get along. We aren't going anywhere for a while. Please. Stop that. We'll escape soon. You really think it's going to be that easy? Huh? Huh? What do you mean? No. Nothing. Just a feeling. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, don't worry about it, all right? I thought he would be pretty. Ch I thought he would be a pretty chill guy to talk to, but I have no idea what's going through his head right now. And then we became friends. <laughs> oh, hi, Ronnie. How's it been? I hope I hope I'm talking to a Ronnie that's been here before, because there's like three different Ronnies <laughs> that join my stream from time to time. Uh, I'm enjoying the game so far. I'm having a fun time. It's nice to finally it's nice to finally sit down and play a game I had since 2017, you know? <laughs> Fucking I've been holding this off forever just for the sheer purpose of recording it. Might dip soon because of classes. Oh man, if you got to go to sleep for classes, go ahead. Don't fucking stay up on my account. 
There's always, there's always the VODs. And then one of these days I will upload them on YouTube. I promise. <laughs> Maybe. But thanks for stopping by. This is a dining hall? Dining hall definitely makes this place feel more like a school. But this place is called the Ultimate Academy for Gifted Juveniles. I doubt it's anything like a typical school. Hmm. So, I have to say, Rontaro is very interesting to me. Mainly because after Danganronpa 2, it's like, Man, I'm Hajime Hinata. I don't know what my talent is. And then later on, you find out all that shit. <laughs> and then, having this game walk up and go like, Here's this character. He don't know what his talent is either. Is he another common student or whatever the fuck they were called? I forgot what they were called. What were they called? Like the students that went to Hope Peak but didn't have talents. I can't remember. Hmm. So, are we stuck here? Um. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Uh. But don't be scared. I'm sure we'll be out of this place in a jiffy. <laughs> lucky students? No, 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 no. They weren't the lucky students. <laughs> No, fucking, they were called something else. Uh, you know, because Hope Peak, they said they needed, um, they needed funding, so they opened it up to the public, but they couldn't be part of, like, the real Hope Peak Academy. Rever reserve course, thank you. Fucking reserve student, yeah. Oh, man. Um, God damn it, I'm remembering everything from Danganronpa 2. Can we just pour one out for fucking Chiaki? <laughs> Please? I have to say... When Chiaki showed up, my first reaction to her was, Oh no, here's the girl gamer. Are they trying to make people like this series? <laughs> but then they were like, No man, Chiaki got it. She's fine. <laughs> Cause you know, no, like no offense to female gamers out there, but like fucking, um, you know, sometimes there are just animes that are just like really dense when it comes to that shit. And they're like, isn't this the perfect waifu? And it's like, guys, come on, calm down. It ain't like that. <laughs> when Taro's identity will be revealed. I know it will. <laughs> I know it will. I feel it. It has to it has to be something that will help solve the major case. Remember the first time I saw him, I was like, what is he? The ultimate fashion student or some shit? Clothes designer? He looks like a fucking J-pop star. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm not scared. It's just a pain. Something like this won't make me panic because I'm a mage. Huh? I'm a level 70 wizard. Obey me. Hmm. A mage? Hmm, that's right. I haven't told you guys yet. Prepare to be amazed. Fall to your knees. I am Himiko Yumeto, the ultimate mage. I like her. <laughs> I love how they're both just like, what the fuck? Called the ultimate magician. Himiko Yumeto. I see. Oh, so you're a magician. You should have said that from the start. Hmm. I mean, it makes sense though, since magic doesn't exist. Oh. <laughs> She's just so sad about it. Magic does exist. Huh? Huh? I... Because I'm a mage. You're just a magician, right? No. Only on paper. Okay. I'm known as a magician, but that's just a ruse. I'm actually a mage. Do you know <laughs> You know what this reminds me of? Ultimate Taylor would be neat. Yeah, something like that. It's just like his his get up he was wearing and he's wearing like all these accessories on his hands and he got like fucking a million rings on his finger. And he has that, you know, looks like he's straight out of BTS. <laughs> but um Recently, on HBO Max, I was watching the Looney Tunes show, and they have, like, this running joke where Daffy Duck is just like, I am a wizard! <laughs> so she reminds me of that. Huh? Just a ruse. Mm -hmm. You guys might not know them, but there's a group called the Magic Castle. Also known as the Hall of Magicians, it's where the world's magic lovers gather. I, I was the youngest person to ever win their Magician of the Year award. That's pretty cool. It's all a ruse. Why, you? 
they keep they're keeping my magic a secret by disguising it as tricks because of this ruse I became famous all over the world for performing tricks but I'm not a magician I'm a mage nobody believes me um. there there don't be sad hey. well you can show us your magic then we would believe you that's right. oh that's right help us out with your magic take us back to when we originally no. magic isn't all powerful I can't I can only do so much I see. Then what can you do? You're right. I can choose the cards you picked, pull out coins, and, <laughs> and release doves. If I get serious, I can even saw someone in half. Those are just ordinary magic tricks. And then we became friends. I'm yelling so I can build up my spirit energy. Don't you know you can unlock your brain's full potential by yelling to build up spirit energy? That's... I've heard that pro athletes do that. It's supposed to help you focus. Yes. I must be prepared for combat at all times, just in case someone tries to attack me. I will protect myself with Neo Aikido. Huh? Aikido? Then you're... Oh, yes. oh yeah. Tango Shabashira. Yeah. The ultimate Aikido master. She's cool. <laughs> Tenko Chabashira. I see. Oh, I always imagine Aikido Masters to be huge burly guys, but you're so cute. C cute? <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> I'm not cute. So, quick question. Is she a lesbian? <laughs> I have to. Or does she have, like, a man phobia? What's, what's going on with this? My face crinkles when I, when I suck down a shake. And when I whip my face, my when I whip my face, when I when I whip my hair back and forth, when I whip my face, my eyelids turn inside out. Mm. I see, but I think you're cute, right, Suichi? Uh, okay. Oh, right. Heavily implied, not confirmed, as far as we know. Yeah, because Japan would never confirm such a thing. I'm looking at I'm looking at you, Fire Emblem Three Houses. Fucking, how many lesbians are there? A million. How many gay guys are there? Only two. <laughs> like what? What? Huh? What's the matter? Your face looks really intense now. I don't like to be praised by degenerate males. Degenerate males? You mean men? Are you uncomfortable around them? Yes. It's a way bigger problem than just being uncomfortable. If any de degenerates try to touch me, my reflexes is to grab them and throw them across the room. You're right. That is a way bigger problem than just being uncomfortable around men. Hey. She only really shows any affection or appreciation or compliments from the girls. <laughs> uh, she has a man phobia and she's a lesbian. <laughs> that wouldn't put it. That wouldn't. I wouldn't put it faster. You know what I mean? Uh, by the way, what's this Neo Aikido you mentioned? That's Neo Aikido is an original form of Aikido that my master and I completely made up for ourselves. So, your Aikido is self-taught? So you're a Shoto? <laughs> Shoto Ken? A completely, a completely fake-ass martial arts. <laughs> Out here looking like Ryu, throwing hot tokens everywhere. He's just standing there. Menacingly. Oh, what the hell is this room? Warehouse. Everybody shut up! Best character has arrived! <laughs> is this a warehouse? It's pretty big. Damn it. Damn it, where the hell is it? We saw a conspicuous girl rummaging through a shelf filled with different chemicals. Hey. Hey, what you looking for? Bitch. Don't sneak up on me, bitch. <laughs> I literally just met you. I literally just met you. You already called me a bitch. Hey, hey I'm sorry if we surprised you, but you shouldn't talk to Kaede like... Hey, hey Crotch Rock. <laughs> you staring at my tits. Huh? What? <laughs> Help yourself. A guy like you can only dream of landing a big-bodied hottie like me. Go on, get yourself a good eyeful. No, I wasn't staring. My eyes just happened to look there. <laughs> so you were looking. You mother 
Oh, my ass just happened to look there. Oh, my hands just happened to grope her. <laughs> I can I can identify pervs on sight. You are definitely a fucking perv. That's why you wear that hat, right? To hide your skeevy eyes. And that's why you wear those pants, right? To hide your nasty crotch. Oh. Everyone wears pants, though. <laughs> Everyone knows that only perbs wear hat. <laughs> He's trying to talk about my hat. <laughs> Stop it. it. Leave me alone. I can wear a hat if I want to. <laughs> what the hell? What are you getting pissed at me for? Tell, tell the world you're sorry. You startled me into losing motivation. That loss will be felt across the whole world. Hey, your vulgar language is uncalled for. Just who are you anyways? Really? Uh, seriously? You don't know who I am? I'm the gorgeous girl genius whose good looks and golden brain will go down in history. I'm the one, the only, the legendary ultimate inventor herself, Mui Ruma! Everybody praise the new goddess. I'm gonna be so fucking mad if she dies in this game. I'm gonna lose it. You better not die. Hmm, I never heard of you. So what kind of things do you invent? I make all kinds of gadgets. Ones that let you type while you sleep, read while you sleep, even ones that let you eat while you sleep. Why does everything involve sleeping? I was inspired after I realized how much time people waste on sleep. Though, this one time I invented these really stupid eye drop contact lenses as a gag. Huh? Wait, really? Those are your inventions? Some of my friends wear them. Ah! Your friends sound like total plebs. I love her so much. <laughs> that invention was nothing. It doesn't make you more productive while you sleep, so it was a failure, just like you two. I signed the patent right over to some company and never looked back. That seems like a waste. It's way better than your do stuff, do stuff while sleep inventions. By the way, what are you looking for earlier? You sounded pretty desperate to find it. What was that? Huh? Are you a dumbass? In a situation like this, I gotta find some meds. Huh? Medicine? Are you hurt or feeling sick? Fucking moron. No, you fucking moron! I need some, I need some meds because I want to trip my fucking balls off. Ah! I just want to set my mind free and forget all about the shitty situation. Oh, Wait, <laughs> what? You can't use drugs to get high. You definitely shouldn't do that. Stop it. What the hell? My genius can't be can't be constrained by the wisdom of masses. Besides, this place probably doesn't even have the shit I need to get loosey goosey. So we cool, right? You done being mad at me? They say there's a fine line between genius and insanity, but she's definitely beyond insane. And then we became friends. <laughs> Sometimes the characters talk by themselves, and sometimes they just say one thing. <laughs> What's up, Suichi? He's been quiet ever since Mew mentioned his hat. Does he not like to talk about it? You saw you should, she made fun of my hat. <laughs> He's so sad about it. Oh man, high jump bar. Why do I feel like, I feel like this is going to be important later. <laughs> would you like to leave? Yes, I would. He's just standing there, menacingly. Stop looking at me. First thing I see when I walk out. All right, uh, which way am I going now? This way? Oh, I was expecting that door to be locked or something. Did I come from here? I guess this doesn't open. Let's look somewhere else. You're right. Okay. Well, that solves that. <laughs> that was pretty easy. So is this the gym? This is the gym. Okay, cool. Is this the gym? Oh, that's locked too. Huh? huh. What's the matter? What's the matter, Sweetie? No. Eh, it's nothing. I just feel strange. Strange how? Uh, okay. 
Okay. Like deja vu? I felt like I've been here before. Could it be? We might be caught up in something even stranger than we imagined. Hmm. Well, it's natural to feel unsettled when we know so little about what's going on. Yeah. But we'll probably be fine. Um, what makes you say that? Because... because we have 16 ultimate students on our side. As long as we work together as friends, I just know nothing bad will happen. Friends. Okay. So there's something I like to say, right? I'm gonna, I'm gonna put, uh, I'm somebody stamped this somewhere, right? Because I'm gonna just put a, a stupid theory out there. I don't know how this game ends at all, but I'm just gonna say, what if? It's probably not likely, but what if we're just doing Danganronpa two all over again? But this time, instead of it, you know being all fucked up it's just like it's just a regular thing they do at the new hopes peak academy or something right where they're like oh we just stick them in the machine sometimes and then test their friendship and bonds or whatever i don't know something fucky like that i highly doubt that they would do that again but you know fucking i think that would be a pretty fucked up turn right it's like, well, since we all been through this crazy shit, why not make all the other ultimates do it? It's not a repeat of D2? Okay, good. <laughs> good. D2 is great. I wish... <sighs> I want them to make another game. Well, I mean, everyone wants to make another... Well, first of all, before making another game, they'll probably never do it, but just, <laughs> just make the VR. Just make the VR thing. God damn it. Just make the first game in VR. That fucking demo was so good. But I still want like a game during the time where the students from D2 were, were, you know, remnants because we got to see Nagito during that time period, but we didn't get to see the rest of them. And I think it'll be nice, right? The only thing we see is like a small glimpse of them during like Dangarampa 3. Oh, we couldn't go through this before, right? Let's, looks like the Iron Gate opened. Did someone open it for us? Let's check it out. Oh, is this the entrance hall? Right, Suichi? This must be the entrance hall, don't you think? Uh, okay. Yeah, I suppose so. Hey. Which means... Mm -hmm. The door must be the entrance. If we walk through it, we can escape this place, right? No. Wait, I don't think we should open doors carelessly. It could be a trap. What? Where's the enemy stand user? I can't find him. <laughs> Look at him. Worrying about this isn't necessary. I've already, I've already examined the doors. Oh, uh. Yes. You wonder who is this? Yes, I shall make that clear first. My name is Korekio Shinguji. I am called the ultimate anthropologist. I will never pronounce your name correctly. Give me a nickname. Correcchio. I am so gonna forget that shit. Correcchio. Anthropologist. Please call me Kyo. Ah, oh, there you go. Thanks for the nickname. Kyo. We'll do that. As for anthropology, would you like a sample? A sample? Would you like a simple explanation? Okay, sure. Anthropology. Oh, I thought he was going to continue that. Anthropology studies customs, legends, folk tales, songs, and much more. There, they may even be customs in your daily life, the origins of which you don't know. Let's see. For example, certain aspects of birthdays or New Year celebrations. Anthropology sheds light on the traditions of customs such as these through religious, through religious, uh, religious, wow, through rigorous and analysis. It's kind of like when your parents say, hey, check that fucking Halloween candy. It might have razors in them. And that's because that comes back from a case far long ago where some jackass fucking put a bunch of cyanide in some of the in some um, Tylenol tablets. And then people copied off of that. And some people put fucking razor blade in like candies. 
and then that evolved into parents going check your fucking halloween candy for razor blades because there's assholes out there is it just uh it is a study that examines the the thought behind culture faith and customs mm -hmm. okay i sort of get it but not really it sounds like a lot of fun though that's correct well of course it's fun it's a study fo it's a study focused on humanity beautiful Look at this man, his fucking Jojo poses. I believe that human beings are creatures who possess infinite beauty. Um, oh. I... I find all aspects of humanity, even the ugly parts, to be beautiful. Our present situation is rather intriguing. What beauty will be able... Back off, Nagito. <laughs> I don't trust the guy with the Nazi armband. <laughs> oh man, can I just say, fuck the Nazis. Why you gotta ruin armbands? They're kind of cool. Now no one can have them. <laughs> Our present situation is rather intriguing. What beauty will be able uh, we will be able to witness here? Humanity is beautiful. Did he just like he just like orgasm in his pants? What what just happened? <laughs> People are wonderful. This guy looks like a creep, and it turns out he is one too. Anyways, we can go outside if we just go through these doors, right? You should find the answer to such questions on your own. The moment your hopes are shattered, that too may be beautiful. Shattered? What does he mean by that? And then we became friends. I'm fucking level 7 already. <laughs> I wasn't even paying attention to that shit. Open says me. Then let's go. Uh, okay. oh. Determined as I was, I just couldn't muster the courage to take the first step forward. To be honest, I was scared. Because what if beyond this is just... Ah, jeez, this isn't like me. Aww. Just because I'm scared doesn't mean I... Doesn't mean I'm gonna run away. Gotta move fast. Are you okay? Forward. My bad. I'm losing. I'm losing my mind here. I gotta take a drink of my water. My throat is killing me. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Fuck. Of course. Don't worry about it. Let's go, Suichi. I psyched myself up and with newfound strength walked boldly towards the doors. Upon opening the doors, we were immediately greeted by blue skies, bright sunlight, gentle wind, and a, a cage? A wall? On that day, humanity was given a grim reminder. Both words were accurate. What stood before us was both cage and wall. We decided to call it a qual. <laughs> Either way, the enormous wall struck a terrifying chord. The mere sight of its imposing presence was enough to send waves of panic through me. No matter where we looked, ahead, behind, above, or all around, the cage surrounded the entire school. What is this? We're trapped? What's going on? Rise and shine, Earth sign! Hey. Surprised about the cage, huh? I totally understand how you feel. The first time I saw it, my teeth and fingernails fell out. It's not a healthy way to react to a surprise. What the fuck? <laughs> but it's so awesomely huge, I can see why it's called the end wall. End wall. Normally, walls are erected to separate two places, right? But that wall is different. It represents the end of the world. What are you talking about? Hmm? What were, what were we talking about? Huh? Was someone talking? Was I talking? <laughs> Stop laughing and explain yourselves. There's nothing to explain. This is simply how it is. So please don't bother. Please don't bother? Yeah. <laughs> you can't get out of here. That wall has no entrance or exits, and it cannot be climbed or demolished. Well, actually... An ultimate could probably climb it part way, but most of the time it's impossible. But, they can still sort of climb it, huh? 
I took a deep breath and shouted at the wall as loud as I could. Somebody help us! Yep, sounded just like that. Please help us. Somebody, anybody, please help us. We're trapped inside this huge cage. I shouted as loud as I could, but for all my shouting, there was no response. Please stop, you'll hurt your throat. She'll hurt her throat? My throat is on fire right now. How long have I been talking nonstop? For, for two hours. It's only been two hours? Jesus. Yeah, scream all you want. No one can hear you anyways. No one can hear us? What do you mean? What do you mean no one can hear us? Say something. One of you, just answer. Damn it. Mano Dam is ignoring them exactly because he refuses to open his heart. You can, th <laughs> you can thank my fearsome bullying for making that happen. Now, now, let's all get along. Dumbass. Shut up. We're the Mono Cubs. We need to be tough and whatnot. What is this? You think, the school. What is all this? So. You bastard. You bastards have to use your legs, hands, and eyes to find that out by yourselves. Actually. Please watch your step while you explore. The school is still under construction. Under construction? I looked around. What the fu- What are these lyrics? <laughs> he is all that remains of a once powerful nation. <laughs> what the fuck am I hearing? It was true. Some areas did seem as if they were still under construction. It looks like they're still building some of the facilities around here. Um. Are they still in the middle of building this school? No. I don't think so. Seems more like they're renovating an abandoned school. Either way, the construction we finish soon- Wait, what? The construction will finish soon once we set the exocells on autopilot. Huh? Exocells? Yeah! Once part of a biker gang, the exocells now work construction to support their wives and kids. Do robots really need that kind of backstory? Um... Their steering wheels and, and leopard print- Wait, what? Their steering wheels and leopard print, and their dashboards are lined. Wait, what? Their steering wheels are leopard print, and their dashboards are lined with arcade prizes. I can't read. You stupid. Seriously, knock it off, you guys. They sound like douchebags with backstories like those. So long, <laughs> and th there they go again. But more importantly, is what they said really true? We can't escape. We can't go over the wall, and no one's coming to rescue us. Oh, but if I give up now, then what? Slap both my cheeks? <laughs> oh, I'm so immature sometimes. I slap both my cheeks, and as my face grew warm, I could feel my determination returning. Hey, hey Suichi, let's go. I can't get that image out of my head. Hey, Suichi, let's go see if we can find a way out. I slapped him upside the head. <laughs> fucking right in the back of the fucking head. Just firm enough to get his attention. Oh. How? You know? Suichi, I'm not great at motivating others, but we can't give up just because of a wall. We came in somewhere, so there has to be an exit. Yeah, that's right. We may not be able to escape now, but we'll do it eventually somehow. Yeah. Everyone just has to cooperate if we all want to get out of here. Yeah, that's right. It's too early to give up. It's too early. He's just standing there. But not menacingly, though, so I'm gonna go talk to him. Hey, how you doing? Jeez. How'd they even make this big-ass wall? Seriously, I just don't get it. I wonder what will happen now if we can't escape, then... What are you complaining about? Huh? Listen up. Quit complaining and grumbling, or it'll turn into a habit. Besides, this cage is nothing compared to the vastness of the universe. By the way, I love how, just like Rosalina from fucking Mario Galaxy, he has the whole entire galaxy under his fucking coat. Huh? The universe? Oops, 
I haven't introduced myself yet. My bad. I'm Kaito Momota, luminary of the stars. Even crying children adore the ultimate astronaut. What the fuck are you? A goddamn here? What are you? All Might? <laughs> fuck it. I am Kaito Mo Motaba. <laughs> Never fear, for I am here. All right, Kaito. How about it? I'm an astronaut. Isn't that cool? Mm. Yeah, I never seen. I never been to space, so I don't know much about it. <laughs> <laughs> well, of course, not just anyone can get up there. I may be an astronaut, but I'm actually still in training. Are you? Hmm. Okay. I see. Oh, I see. You're still a trainee. But I'm the first teenager to ever pass the exam. I mean, normally you need a college degree to even take the exam. Huh? huh? How'd you even take the exam? So... I had a few friends who were pretty crafty, so I had them forge some stuff for me. Oh, That's illegal. Yeah. yeah, I ended up getting caught. I was in pretty deep shit. But the people up top decided they liked me and let me get in anyways. Of course, I aced that exam too. Jeez. That's reckless. Got it. Sometimes you gotta be a little reckless to make your dreams come a rea- <laughs> To make your dreams a reality. No way I can wait till after college. I wanna get to space as fast as I can. But... You sure have a lot of energy. Got it. Yeah. Everyone told me that it was impossible, but I never gave up. Not for a moment. That's because limits don't exist unless you set them yourselves. Let's do it. There's no walls you can't get over. The same goes for that one. Could it be... So do you have any ideas? Shut up! That's not the problem. Uh, no. That is the problem. Jeez, this guy sure talks a big game. And then we became friends. Are these safes? What the fuck is this? I can't... Let me see it! It looks interesting! God damn it, invisible walls. Well, at least they get to walk outside. Still, huh. You know what? I I'm gonna be honest. In Danganronpa 2, it's like you guys can live on this island for the rest of your lives. It's, it might suck, but I mean, it was a pretty good-ass island. Got everything you want there. I mean, they weren't really on an island, but still. Got everything you could want there. This building is <laughs> this building is uh, that, 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 that. this building is round and has a lot of smaller rooms inside. Very nice to see you again. Oh my fucking god, go somewhere. Very nice to see you again. Why, hello, Bear. We're intruding. Sorry to intrude. Please. What is it this time? And what do you mean by intruding? Because this is your home, you bastards. <laughs> you finished setting up the showers, now you can go pee. Hey. Why don't they just use the toilets? Huh? Even for number two? Wait, you go number two in the shower? Just mush it down there with your feet? <laughs> That's so nasty. Yeah, that's gross. What was the point of coming here? What the fuck did they even want with me? What do you mean, our home? They mean for us to live here. See, there are 16 doors. Perhaps a room for each of us. I don't plan on staying here long enough to need a room. Alright. Why, hello there. But... I failed to see their objective. Um... Huh? What do you mean? How? If they're holding us for ransom, a large facility such as this would be unnecessary. Furthermore, I gather they would rather care for us than hurt us. In light of this, I failed to see the true objective of the culprits responsible for kidnapping us. Culprits? I never even thought about that. Why would our kidnappers go to all this trouble? Sixteen Ultimate students have been gathered here, but why? What are the reasons? Excuse me. Pardon me. I have no I have not introduced myself yet. I am Hirumi Tojo, the ultimate maid. Please let me know if you require my service. Hi, Kurumi. Wow, the ultimate maid sounds like a really cool talent. Oh, wait. 
part of Kurumi Togo. If I remember correctly. An ultimate with incredible intellect and strength, working as a private maid. I heard that her work is so perfect she can even she can complete any request given to her. Huh? What? She's that amazing? I do not agree. Please, you're exaggerating. I will not complete any request that is asked of me. I once received the request to annihilate a rival nation, but it was impossible. I rejected it. But being requested to do that pretty impressive is pretty impressive on its own. That's true. I've also heard that she's been hired as a bodyguard to several foreign eh. How do I say this word? Digitaries? Din Digitaries? I don't know how to say that. I don't know that word. I do not agree. I have only been employed as a maid, not as a bodyguard. I see. But you've been hired to do so many important. Uh, blah, blah, blah. You've been hired by so many important people. You're like a super maid. May I? Moving on. What do you intend to do now? Hmm. That's a tough question. What should we do? Um. What should you do, Kurumi? I do not agree. I hold no opinions or desires of which to speak. I am a maid, after all. As a maid, my only desire is to fulfill the desires of others. So please, think about what you desire for yourself, and what you desire from me. For everyone. I can think about a couple of things, but I will not cross that line, madam. No matter the situation, no matter what happens, I am here to serve everyone. Even in the situation, she's more concerned for others. Well, she is the ultimate maid, after all. And then we became friends. Huh. <laughs> Alright. Let's head out. Who the hell have we not met yet? My throat is on fire. <laughs> Let's see. Hello. Whoa, this guy looks scary. He's so big and muscular. Um. Uh, excuse me. Huh? huh? Thank you. Oh, thank you. Huh? Huh? Thank you. Sorry. Oh, sorry for scaring. Um. Gota's scary looking. Most people not want to talk to Gota when meeting for first time. Cause Gonta gentlemen. So, like gentlemen, Gonta say thank you. Thank you for talking to Gonta. You a caveman? Yeah. <laughs> Be Gonta. Be very gentlemanlike. Yes. Tarzan monkey man. Thank you for being so polite. He looks scary, but he doesn't seem very scary at all. Oh. Oh right. Gonta need make it. Gonta need to make introduction. Um, Gonta's name is Gonta Gokuhara. Uh, Gonta's talent is. Ultimate entomologist. That's a lot of big words for such such uh small comprehension skills? I don't what? <laughs> you confuse me! Gonta want to become gentlemen. Becoming true gentlemen, Gonta's goal. Gonta Gokuhara. Don't make him go Super Saiyan. Oh, so you're Gonta. That's a really cute name. Really? Thank you. Aw, you're actually pretty nice. Silly me for being scared at first. Maybe. Oh, Gonta's scary looking, huh? Sorry. Oh, sorry, that's not what I... No. no, it's okay. Gonta used to it. Gonta called scary since he was a kid. Um, since... since you were a kid? Huh. Oh, kid scary. Gonta bigger than other kids. Other kids scared of Gonta. So kid Gonta play alone. That's how Gonta come to like bugs. But, when Gonta really focus, it easy to lose track. One day, Gonta go to forest to find bugs, end up lost. I see. That sounds rough. Were they able to find you right away? Mm. Yeah, took 10 years though. <laughs> oh man! He became the Bug King! Huh? 10 years? But, but Gonta fine, new family took care of Gonta. Hmm. I see, I'm glad they were nice people. Oh, not people. Wolves. Regular Mowgli, huh? huh? Wolves. What? But they really nice. Cause a forest family going to learn to speak bug and animals. Gonta. As thanks, going to want to show forest family what great gentleman Gonta is. Huh. I was becoming a gentleman going to thank them for that. 
This place strange, huh? Lots of plants, but no books. Huh? Wait, really? I suppose it's understandable that there's no animals, but no insects. That's strange, not even one bug. You like bugs too? Amazing. <laughs> what? Hey, what's your favorite bug? What you like about them? <laughs> He's just the guy from SpongeBob. Did you say chocolate? Chocolate? Chocolate! Uh, no, I wasn't saying that I like bugs or anything. Wait. Then you hate bugs. Huh? What? But how? You hate bugs? That's not true. Uh, you don't hate bugs. You love them, right, Suichi? Uh, okay. Yeah, of course I do. I love bugs. Thank goodness. Okay, that good. Not bad person like bugs. And then we became friends. Hmm. Well, that was scary. Phew, I thought you were gonna die. Honestly, I can't understand bugs either, but it might be best to hide that. Hey, it's nice to know that this place has not even one bug here. Sounds like a heaven for me. Alright. Let me just check. Real quick, make sure my PC's not messing up or anything. There we go. All right. Why, hello, madame. Yahoo! Yahoo! How are you? My name is Angie Yonaga. I'm the ultimate artist. Oh, well, she has a nice little accent. I like that. Um. You're pretty cheerful. She's a bit too happy, considering the situation we're in right now. Yeah. There's no reason to carry bad thoughts with you. You gotta live every day like it's bright, cherry, and fun. Cause of Huh? Atua. I... The god of my island, Atua is always with me, speaking to me with his divine voice. Oh. Well, she's certainly devout. Um. Do you specialize in painting or sculpting? I do both. I paint paintings and I sculpt sculptures. But I too is the one who makes the art. I merely offer my body as his vessel. Okay? So divine. Keep those weapons away from me. I see. I see, that's interesting. If you don't mind, can you show me some of your artwork? Of course, of course. Of course. In return, will you make an offering? Um. An offering? Every Monday and Wednesday morning on the island, I truck, a truck comes to collect offerings. That sounds oddly similar to putting out trash for pickup. But, but... Don't worry, don't worry. When I say offering, I just mean a pint or two of your blood. Are you in a cult? <laughs> don't worry? Sorry. I'm a bit anemic, so I'll pass. I see. I see. What about you then? Huh? huh? Me? Uh, yep. Boy's blood is also an acceptable offering. Come on, come on. It won't hurt one bit. W wait a minute. <laughs> Don't run away. This girl is so weird. She's definitely gonna kill somebody. <laughs> She's gonna be like, I must make a sacrifice for my god. Oh, is that everyone? Oh my god. Was that the bell? Kaede, look. The monitor. The monitor. Thanks for pairing with us. Oh, there's little chibi versions of them hanging like they're all dead. <laughs> Isn't that adorable? You bastards. Keep you bastards waiting, huh? Keep you waiting, huh? <laughs> Just looks at the camera like Kazuhiro Mil Miller, right? Everyone make your way to the gym, please. The opening ceremony can finally begin. Phew. Phew. We finally finished our preparations. Hey. You do realize you just read your lines backwards, don't you? Jim, so opening ceremony. Hey. Kaede, what should we do? Um. What should we do? Go, of course. Everyone else is probably doing the same thing. You're right. 
True, but I'm a little worried about this. Well, I'm not a little worried. I'm very worried. Let's make our way to the gym. My throat is killing me. <laughs> Don't worry. We only got two more hours left in the stream. You can make it. Oh, God. Kill me. Kill me now. Fuck. <laughs> My throat is on fire. This is what happens when I stop stop streaming regularly. I lose all the ability to keep this up. I'm usually not I'm usually not a uh, talkative person. Only during only during the content. Where the fuck is the gym? It's this way, right? I think it was past uh it was past the like the gated door, right? No, this leads downstairs. Okay. Don't worry, I'll map out this place soon enough. This way, I think. And then this way. Yep, there's the gem. It's right there. All right. More reading. <laughs> Yippee. Do you agree? All 16 of us have gathered. Mmm, mm, it's pretty spectacular seeing all 16 of us ultimates gather together. <laughs> we may not be able to be so easygoing for much longer. Um. In this situation, it's no use thinking about things. So eventually, Sumugi stopped thinking. Mm. What's gonna happen to us? I bet it'll be a big pain. What? What are you looking at? Himiko! Himiko, you can use um, you can use amazing powers, right? Because you're psychic and stuff, right? It's magic. I'm not a psychic. I'm a mage. <laughs> wow, that's amazing. I definitely want to incorporate that into new Aikido. What the fuck? I thought I felt like a bug on my shoulder or something. Hey, what sort of training did you undergo to gain your awesome powers? I'm talking about is too tiring. You're pretty lazy. Please wait. Pardon me, but we need to be on our guard. We do not know if we do not know if eh. we do not know if and when danger will strike. Don't. don't say that. I'm so scared. I don't know what to do. It'll be okay. There's no need to worry. Atua will protect us as long as we sacrifice to it. Thank Phew, that's a relief. Fucking moron. Is your brain full of weeds or something? I'll whack him out of your skull of yours. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Just leave it to me. Leave it to me. If those teddy bears show themselves again, I'll kick their asses. Don't you wonder... Huh? What that? What's wrong? See? Listen? Hear that? Huh? Ah, I think I hear it. it. Sounds like an engine from a robot anime. Everyone behind Gonta! <laughs> what? What the heck are these monsters? Wow. Whoa, so cool. Hell yeah! They're XSLs, highly mobile bipedal weapon platforms. They got lots of hometown pride, too. What are you saying? I can't keep track of these backstories. <laughs> Whatever they are, they better kill off. They better kill off the Uggos and save me for last. <laughs> wow. Thanks for the vote of confidence, Mew. Hey! Run, Himiko! Are you? Why are you concerned about me all of a sudden? He's calling her ugly. That's fucked up. Hmm. Didn't someone say they would kick all their asses? What the hell? Nobody told me about these. Okay. All right, chill out. No need to panic. We're probably not in any danger. If they wanted to kill us, they would have done it by now. With that, Rantaro casually walked up to the exocells. So, what do you want from us? You clearly want something. That's what the guns are for, right? Let me guess. 
You're gonna force do. You're gonna force us to do something, and if we don't, we'll get hurt. Well, you have our attention. So, what do you want? And that's that. Huh? Well, aren't you a wise guy? Hey! I'll start us off. Listen up. Here's what we want you punk asses to do. <laughs> My heart's going 100 miles per hour. I'm gonna say it. You ready? Hell yeah! It's. What? Mono damn! How dare you upstage me? Huh? Wait a second, what did you say? Hmm. If I heard him correctly. It's a killing game. Ah, oh, he said it again. God damn it, Mono Dam. I'm gonna crush you with these here exocells. Hmm. Come on, we don't have time to fight amongst ourselves. Okay. Yeah, if you don't stop fighting, I'm gonna crush you with this here exocell. You too, Monotaro? Leave it to me. If this is what it comes to, then I will crush the four of you guys with this here exosome. What are you saying? Hey, why are you including me? Oh well. Oh well, it's more appropriate for us to be hostile to each other. You wanna go, Jabroni? Who you calling Jabroni? Jabroni? What'd you say, Jabroni? I'll throw down any time, Jabroni! Check yourself before you wreck yourself! <laughs> you better check yourself before you wreck yourself. Seriously? Are they gonna get it on right in front of us? Get it on? That's a fun way of putting it. Don't worry. Atua is watching over us. In a situation like this, is he just going to watch? Either way, it's too dangerous. We need to get out of here or else... Now, now, now. We're all fucked. What? Knock off this awful fighting. Oh, that boy! Father! F Father? Is that you? Papakuma! Daddy! Where are you? Huh? D daddy? Who's Daddy? <laughs> At that moment, the lights in the gymnasium suddenly shut off. He has wings this time? <laughs> what? I am the god of this new world! <laughs> I like his voice. Oh man, at least he doesn't have, uh... Was his voice... I'm pretty sure in the anime for Danganronpa, he did not have the same voice actor, and it was like pretty bad, if I remember. And the headmaster of the ultimate Monokuma! Nice to meet ya! Yay! Mother's oh, here. Hell yeah! Another epic entrance from Papa Kuma. Hello? I'm not saying that. <laughs> My, My cute little cubs. You're all so freaking cute. The only reason I can tolerate you tiresome antics it's cause you're all so cute. So cute. Even when the prologue is going on way too long, I allow it because you guys are cute. Yeah. In fact, the very first prologue ever was only short cause you cutie patooties weren't there. Pops! Pops. You mad at us? Don't be, stupid. Don't be an idiot. I would never get mad at my cute little cubs. <laughs> he's mad. But daddy's still cool, even when he's angry. That's right. Pops is from a planet of handsome bears that get cooler as they get angrier. It's getting interesting. Super Monokuma, Super Monokuma 2, Super Monokuma 3, and finally, Super Monokuma 4. How many times do I gotta say it? I'm not mad! Ah, father just transformed into a Super Monokuma God Super Monokuma! <laughs> Dumb shit. That's only possible when six Monokumas of pure heart are gathered together. <laughs> I'll never forget that moment. He's all like, how come isn't it working? Well, maybe Vegeta is just a dickhead. It's the power you've 
bust out when you really want to fuck the world's shit up. A power you only see when the gods themselves do battle. I uh, love the references. Anyway. Anyways, I'm really not mad. In fact, I gotta admit that I'm actually proud of you guys. You kids really stand out from the rest of the second generation failures in the world. No way. Isn't that a little harsh? I'm sure there's something. I'm sure there are some second generation success stories. Yeah, but... I can't think of any though. <laughs> I love embracing my children. They're so cute. I just can't help myself. Usually, ratings will plummet when mascot appears in sequels too much. But in this case, ratings are through the roof. All thanks to the cute mono cubs. Are they really though? Were the ratings for this? <laughs> I'm assuming V3 was through the roof for other reasons. Because mono cubs are, they're okay for now. What is this? What's going on? Like... Another teddy bear appeared. No. Yes, but this is no ordinary teddy bear. I can see it. The despair and madness swirling around this cursed thing. Really Whoa. First of all, I'm not a teddy bear. I'm Monokuma. And show some respect. I'm the headmaster of the Ultimate Academy for Gifted Juveniles. Huh? Headmaster? Mm -hmm. It appears to be some sort of... A, 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 why can't I say the word? Autonomous, thank you, robot with a built-in AI, like me. Dong, dong, dong. Yeah, but... The exocells are different though. They're brainless buckets bolts. That's right. They're mindless they're mindless pretty killing machines that can only be controlled by us, the monocups. Sheesh. Autonomous robot pilot Wow. Autonomous robots piloting it eh, pilot da, 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 da. <laughs> Autonomous robots piloting pi Why can't I talk? Piloting? Weapon platforms. This is certainly turning into quite the story. Actually. Well, that may be. But what I'm worried about is this killing game you mentioned. What exactly does it mean? <laughs> oh. What's so amusing? Yeah. It's just, when I said it before, I kind of just phoned it in and now I feel awkward. Extreme. I want you students with your ultimate level talents to participate in a killing game. Killing game? Us? Please stop. Please stop joking around. Why would we agree to participate in a killing game? Huh? huh? You guys don't want to do it? Go to never do that. Of course not. Gentlemen not hurt people. And thing. But if you look around the academy, then you already know, don't you? The academy is surrounded by a huge wall. You can't escape to the outside world. And as long as we have the exocells, you can't defy us. In other words, I hold the power of life and death over each and every one of you. So, unsure. so do what you say. If we don't, we die. You gotta be kidding me! You gotta be kidding me! We're not. We're not. Uh, why would friends kill each other? Oh, oh? Who say you guys were friends? No way! You guys aren't friends at all. <laughs> Your enemies out to kill each other. Huh? Enemies? We're enemies? I still have a lot to learn from father about sarcasm. All this talking is bugging the shit out of me. I gotta beat up Monodam to relieve the stress. But I don't like that. I'm not good with violence or gore or sad situations. Um, Dad's interest of a killing game. Could we do rock, paper, scissors tournament? You stupid. Who wanna play a game where no one dies? Well, you do have a compassionate personality. It's so cute, I can barely stand it. They're so cute. Why, it's so cute enough to eat. Cute enough that I want to eat it. Hey, hey Monofi, you might want to dial back the cute shtick a bit. Hey. Cool it with the stupid banter. I want to ask something. <laughs> How are we supposed to kill each other? Are you going to give us weapons? What the hell, ma'am? What are you asking? We need to get info from them first. We can't do anything if we don't know anything. No way. Weapons? Huh? What, 
kind of barbaric display are you envisioning? You couldn't be more wrong. Why, at the Ultimate Academy for Gifted Juveniles, the killing game is quite the refined, sophisticated experience. What? Sophisticated experience? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Here, the killing game is punctuated by class trials. Uh. Class trials. Okie dokie! Okay, let us explain. If one of you maggots kills someone, you all gotta take part in a class trial. The class trial is where the blackened killer faces off against their spotless... Where classes. the blackened killer faces off. <laughs> Thick ass accents. It's where you punk ass bitches argue over who you fucking think the blackened is. After that, it's voting time! And if the majority of you idiots vote correctly... Then only the blackened killer will receive p p punishment. But so cruel. Just imagining all the bloody gore makes me want to puke. After the blackened is punished, the rest of you will just keep right on living together. But if you vote for the wrong person during the class trial, the blackened gets off scot free, and all the spotless students get punished instead. Hell yeah! Them's the rules of the class trial! Woo-hoo-hoo! Oh! <laughs> ah, too much. That explanation revealed way too much. You gotta be more coy, flirtatious, seductive, just like your old man. Gross. <laughs> she said, that shit's fucking nasty. The point is, I'm not. Uh, it's not enough to kill someone. You also have to survive the class trial. Where should I put this? Killing without being caught and then surviving the trial sounds eerily similar to the real world. Unbuilt. You think so? On the outside world, must have been masterful disguise, even as it's even as it's cruelest. Listen. Once we, God, one can likely imagine, but shall I ask just in case? What is the punishment you mentioned earlier? Simply put, it's an execution. Huh? Uh, execution? If you do a crime, you get punished for it. That's like the most basic rule of society. But this is a killing game. So the punishment for murder is a bit more permanent. Hell yeah! I wonder what kind of punishments they'll be. Lots of blood and guts and brains, I bet. The kind of stuff that gives me a raging boner. Yeah. What? Mono Kid, you already have a boner? Got a yeah. <laughs> I got a rock. I got a hard one. Okay. Blood, guts, and brains? She just puked. Oh, man. She puked sparkles. All right. Yeah. Huh? Pew gives you a boner too? <laughs> you kids are just so adorable. What? What the hell's cute about that? Well, now. All right. I'm over all this boring exposition. Thrills, chills, Let's get this heart pounding killing school semester started already. You have free reign to murder however you like too, like bludgeoning. Strangulation! Feeling lazy? Try poisoning! Whether you shoot, burn, drown, blow up, crush, electrocute, or laugh your victim to death, you can use any method you like to kill anybody you like, any way you like. At the Ultimate Academy for Gifted Juveniles, you will realize your murderous potential! Sixteen talented teenage prodigies, all competing for first place in a killing game! I just yawned during his explanation. <laughs> that's that's kind of fucked up. I went, uh, boring. There's no better setting for an event like this than the Ultimate Academy! You got me. Killing school semester. It's like a game. Risking our lives for some silly game is absurd. But... It doesn't seem like it'll be boring, though. 
Hey, how can you do Zinnerich be so calm? It, it can't be. This has to be a lie, right? It's a lie, right? A lie? More like fiction. Like a story on TV. A scenario so removed from reality, we can hardly believe what's happening. It's no use. I don't want to believe in it to be in a killing game. It's wrong. I never do that. <laughs> well, if you don't want to participate in the killing game, that's going to be a problem. Because the killing game is the only reason you're here. Huh? What? Now then. now then, unleash your talents and have a happy, homicidal, horrific, hilarious killing game. Oh, wait just a minute. Oh. Huh? Stop it. No matter what you say, we won't do it. That's wrong. We'll never participate in a killing game. I'll Whatever you have planned, I'm not going to let you get away with it. Um, Kaede, you shouldn't just rashly defy that thing. That's not no, no. I welcome her resistance. That kind of defiant spirit is important to the killing game. It's fun to watch the def <coughs> It's fun to watch the defiant ones eventually snap and get their hands dirty. What do you mean by that? I love it. Everyone loves that kind of brutality in a death game. Especially me. It never gets old. It's so fun and entertaining that I just can... I just get unbearably pumped up. Plus, as the headmaster, it's my job to force you to do it. <laughs> we stood in dumbfounded silence. Surrounded by the squealing laughter of Monokuma and his cubs. Everything about the situation was so messed up. An academy surrounded by a giant wall. Sixteen ultimate students trapped inside. Mysterious stuffed bears and deadly weapons. And new friends forced to play some killing game. It all felt like something out of a sadistic work of fiction. A sadistic story, no different from reality itself. And against my will... I was now a character in that story. That was cool. <laughs> Ultimate Revival. End. Uh, obtained a present. Ultimate Academy for Get the Juvenile Badge. Oh god, my fucking throat is dying. <laughs> oh. Don't worry, we got like what an hour of this. Where's my phone? 
Here's my phone. All right. So, give me one moment, guys. I have to use the bathroom, so I will be right back. All right, <laughs> we are back. Had to head to the bathroom real quick. Recover my voice a little bit. Take a quick drink of water, you know what I mean? I'm fucking dying out here. How do voice actors do this shit? All the screaming. <laughs> All right, after Monokuma and the monocups left, an alarm suddenly rang from my monopad. Not just from mine, the alarm was going off throughout the whole gym, which meant everyone else was received. Uh, which meant everyone else had received the monopad as well. When I took mine out, a message was displayed on the screen: "Ultimate Academy ebook. Students must live at the Ultimate Academy for the remainder of their foreseeable future. Once a murder takes place, all surviving students must participate in a class trial." 
If the Blacken is exposed during the class trial, they alone will be executed. If the Blacken is not exposed, all remaining students will be executed. If the Blacken survives the class trial, they will graduate and re-enter the outside world. The killing game and class trials will continue until only two surviving students remain. Nighttime is from 10 p.m. to 8 a.m. The dining hall and gymnasiums are off-limit at night. Violence towards Monokuma, the headmaster of the Ultimate Academy, is strictly prohibited. Monokuma will never directly commit a murder. Your monopads are very important items. Please do not damage them. The body discovery announcement will play when three or more students discover a body. With minimal restrictions, you are free to explore the campus at your discretion. Students who violate these rules will be immediately exterminated by the XSL. The headmaster may add new regulations to this list at any time. You know what rule I didn't see there? Kill the mono cubs. Do it now. They shall die by my hand. You gotta be kidding me. I will never, I will never participate in a killing game. My chapter, our class trial, class trial, daily life. The Ultimate Academy for Gifted Juvenile School Regulations. So these are the rules. Wow. I do not understand why someone would force us to do this. But... but the rules are pretty cut and dry. This game doesn't seem like it'll be boring. You gotta be kidding me! That's not the problem. Listen. Please lower your voice. It's ruining the atmosphere. Oh yeah. Hey, what does this six regulation mean? The killing game and class trials will continue until only two surviving students remain. Only two surviving students? What would be the reason for that? That's... Perhaps it's because you couldn't do a trial with just two people. I see, I see. Oh, you're so smart, Suichi. Always messing around. Quit screwing around. Killing game, school regulations? Don't screw around. To hell with that crap. Who'd go along with something like that? Kaito raised that monopad as if to smash the device on the ground. Whoa, hey now, don't do that. School rule says you can't break it. Hmm. If you violate the rules, then Exocells will dispose of you. What? I don't care about the rules. No way I'm gonna play this messed up game. No. This isn't about playing the game. It's too dangerous to disobey him now. Yeah. Forget about him. It just means one less dumbass for the world to deal with. Shut up! Hey, who the hell are you calling a dumbass? I took a deep breath and shut it at the shut out with all my might. Uh, Quit fighting already. Whoa. Whoa, what the Jeez. We shouldn't be fighting amongst ourselves right now. We need to work together. Hmm. Honestly, I'd probably be more eh, I'd probably be more inspiring if I played a song than gave a speech. Mm -hmm. Chopin's military poet I can't I'm not even going to. <laughs> Would definitely help us unite. Yeah, I could get behind some, some, what the fuck is this, a bolognese? And I don't even, I don't even like me. Oh, some bolognese. Yeah, whatever. What? I agree with Kaede too. We must, we must, eh. I can't read, I lost my ability. We must remember who the real enemy is. Master told me the strength must always be aimed in the proper direction. Anyways, you're all panicking too much. Just stay calm like me. Wow, you're shaking so much. Even I can't handle these intense vibrations. And trust me, I've got loads of experience. <laughs> okay, Mew. You're just... You're just doing you, I guess. Anyways, why don't we work together and search for an exit one more time. But we looked all over the wall and there wasn't a single hole. Please wait. Now, wait a second. If there's no openings in the wall, then how do we get inside these walls in the first place? Oh, good point. Got it? That means there must be an opening somewhere. We just gotta find it. Hmm. Whoever trapped us here wants us to fight each other. Oh, right. So let's show them that we're not gonna let that happen. We're not gonna fight each other, okay? We're gonna work together.
Why are you quiet? Did I say something wrong? I do not agree. On the contrary. You made your case with such... God. <clears throat> How do I say that word? <laughs> Succadent? Is that the word? Succadent? Succadent. That's not the word. I can't say it. Hmm, whatever. I'm skipping it. <laughs> I can't know everything. I was going to say the same thing, but you beat me to it. Got it. You're exactly right. We can't give up so easily. Come on, come on. Let's split up and try to find the exit. Ooh. Atua, give us strength. Wow, impressive. I must admit, I admire your spirit. Hey. Oh, wait. Mm -hmm. What is it? You were just about to get started. Um. Maybe it's not matter much, but... Go to a fine manhole earlier in grass behind school building. Huh? A manhole? I'm going to peek in, seeing big underground passage. Think maybe it exit. Thinks maybe it exit. Sorry, it's probably not so simple. You gotta mention important stuff like that much faster. I'm going to peeking. <laughs> Hold up. I'm gonna try. Go to peeking, seeing big underground passage. Think maybe exit. Uh, no. Wait, not like that. You're talking too fast. Either way. The boiler is behind the school building. We must cooperate. Cooperate. Yeah, we must cooperate Gunta's claim at once. Gunta, please lead the way. Got it. Okay, everyone follow Gonta. With Gonta leading us, we hurried out the gym. Just when I was about to follow them. Wow, impressive. Kaede, that was pretty cool back there. Huh? Huh? What was? How should I put this? The way you changed the mood completely. Seems like everyone looks up to you. Aww. Look up to me? Come on, that's ridiculous. I just spoke from the heart, that's all. So, unsure. so it just came naturally to you then. And that's even more cool. <laughs> you have what it takes to win. Huh? What? That means. I was just thinking, what you said back there would have pissed off whoever's running this. They definitely don't want us holding hands, working together. Sure. They're gonna come for you, Kaede, with everything they got. I'm a little worried about you. You're just so straightforward. Uh. And away he goes. That guy... That guy really... Uh, that guy could really stand to be less cryptic. That's true. And perhaps it's a warning. That's what I'm thinking anyways. Being strong-willed could get you into a lot of trouble around here. Sorry. Sorry. I didn't mean to sound so negative at a time like this. It's fine. You only said what you only said that because you're worried, aren't you? But yeah, Rentaro's a mystery. You've got his ultimate talent as well. Is that something you can really forget? Mm -hmm. Well, there's no no use thinking about it now. We could just head we should just head to the manhole. Fuck, I cannot. Okay. The sun is setting over here. <laughs> That's what's happening to me. Alright. Manhole. That's outside, right? Just gotta stick it out for another hour. Then the stream will be over. Then I can rest my voice. Alright. Let's head on outside. Wait, can we fast travel? Review the layout. Uh... There we go. We can fast travel. Cool. My glasses were getting fogged up. I have to wipe them off. All right. Manhole. Where where are we going? Somewhere around here? Oh, is that it over there? No, that's a log. <laughs> that's a log. Uh, Manhole, where are you? Oh, it is in the... It's in the back. So this way. Is it inside here? Boiler room. Oh, there they are. Man. Looks like we're all... Looks like we're all here. So, where's this manhole? Um. Over there in grass. 
over there in grass. Oh, this. All right, cool. Let's see. Who can we talk to? Talk to me, Mew. I love you. Quit wasting my time, you, you, you cookie bitch. <laughs> cookie bitch. Hurry up. Chop, chop. What do you got to say, Maki? What's wrong? Hurry up. Don't you want to escape from here? Uh, Kokichi, what do you gotta say? <laughs> Whoa, look at all these weeds. This place could definitely use a groundskeeper. Right, Keyboy? Please stop. Why are you telling me that? Furthermore, <laughs> furthermore, I would prefer you address me as Kibo. But, but you can pull weeds, right, Keyboy? Well, of course. I can do all sorts of things just as well as any person. Right. As well as any person? But you're not a person. This <laughs> That's discrimination. Robophobic discrimination. Alright. Sweetie, what do you think? Um. So, there's even grass out here. Be careful of the roots, everybody. Alright. It's true. There really is a manhole in the grass. <laughs> An important hole near some bush. Sounds familiar. Am I right, ladies? Ooh. Oh, this manhole cover looks heavy. Can we even lift it? Leave it to me. I can try. Kibo placed his hands on the manhole cover with all his strength, he... My apologies. <laughs> My apologies. <laughs> Sounded like a robot. How embarrassing it won't even budge. Huh? A robot not even strong enough to move it? Listen closely. Oh, don't worry. My physical strength is approximately that... It's probably that of a strong senior citizen. That's sad. It's fucking pathetic! <laughs> the professor didn't want a repeat of the tragedy that occurred during trial production. Um, now that I, now I'm just plain curious about what happened during that trial. Allow Gonta. Oh, then allow Gonta. Gonta lift cover before to peek inside. Should be able to pick up cover too. Gonta places his hands on the manhole cover and... I'm Puny! <laughs> Puny cover. No match for Gonta. Oh, Himiko, you're precious. Oh, you're amazing, Himiko. See, Tenko's got the right idea. What should Gonta do with cover now? Please leave it somewhere else. Be careful not to hit anyone with it. Um, actually, Gonta no can do that. Very rude to litter. But with nowhere to dispose of the manhole cover, Gonta begrudgingly toss it aside. True gentleman. The manhole cover easily traveled five yards before it hit the ground. What wonderful strength. You could likely crush a child's skull with ease. Why would you say that? Gonta never do that? How ungentlemanly. Gonta never do that. Um, Gentlemen are not. No one could do that. But. <laughs> but Gonta is so much more reliable than some bean counting robot. Hmm. Are you talking about me? Because I can count many things, not just beans. While everyone else was talking, I slowly peeked into the manhole. It was dark inside to see clear wow. It was too dark inside to see clearly, but I could feel cold, moist air drifting from it. Actually. This place is kinda creepy. We're really going in there? Got it. I'm sure it's fine. At the very least, we definitely won't die down there. I'll protect you. If anything happens, I'll protect most of you. But the degenerate males on their <laughs> the degenerate males are on their own. Going to protect you. Think of Tonta protect menfolk. It's true. Awfully quiet. Where's the Mono Cubs and Monokuma? I see, yes. I was certain they would show up at some point and crush us like rotten rotten gants. Gants? Ants? Grants? They probably haven't <laughs> I guess it's ants. They probably haven't noticed yet. I see. Then let's hurry before they show up to mess with us. What the fuck? What are you doing over there? What are you doing? Put the shoe down. No. Stop it. Put the shoe down. Zero. Doing my shoe. <laughs> he's just he grabbed my shoe and he's trying to he's trying to bring it into his cage. Like a little animal he is. One by one we each descended down into the manhole. 
He is dragging my shoe into the cage. Once we all climbed down the ladder, we looked around and saw an open area. <laughs> it's more spacious than I thought it'd be. You gotta lay What is it? What is this place? That is correct. An old industrial passageway. I suspect perhaps factories once existed here. Ah. And this is all that's left of them. Hey, hey take a look at this. <laughs> what a considerate sign. Apparently, the end of the tunnel is the exit. Um. Considerate? You don't think it's weird that someone went out of their way to write exit? <laughs> don't piss yourself in fear. Your natural scent is bad enough. I'm not scared. And I smell just fine. Hey. Well then, go on ahead. No point standing around here. That's... Yeah. yeah. No need to worry. Mm. It looks a bit dangerous, but we're all ultimates here. Yeah, that's right. As long as we work together, everything will work out just fine. Uh, okay. Yeah, you're right. Well said. That's, ex that's exactly what I was going to say. We're really on the same wavelength, Kaede. Give me a hug. No. Uh, no. Ugh, Typical... Male. <laughs> Typical degenerate behavior. You were trying to trick her into pressing her boobs against you. Alright. Fucking. Did I save my game? <laughs> At all? Let me see. We did save our game. That was a bit ago, though. <laughs> alright. What do you think, Suichi? What should we do? Uh, if we all work together, it'll be okay. I'm sure of it. That's what I said. Alright. Let's go. It'll probably be okay. There'll be an exit at the end of this, and once we reached it, it'll be all over. But just know it. I clung fiercely to that belief as we stepped into the tunnel. You're about to take on the death road of despair. The objective is simple. Everyone works together to escape. Press the... What are you doing? You okay over there? What are you doing? Go sit. <laughs> Good dog. <laughs> I looked at the corner of my eye, my dog is just like fucking flipping out. Press the left stick and directional buttons to move. Circle the jump. You'll encounter plentiful plentiful. You'll encounter plenty of traps set up to prevent you from escaping. If you hit a trap or fall off a ledge, the person will be eliminated, and control will switch to one of the remaining students. If everyone's eliminated, game's over, man. Game over, man! They're gonna get us! Oh, sorry. Didn't mean for things to get that real. For now, stay vigilant and do your best to reach the exit. Not that it matters. What? <sighs> the fuck is that supposed to mean? 16? Oh... Oh no, they have traction. Oh god, what is this? <gasps> oh no. I don't want to use the left stick. It feels weird to me. Is that a trap? Is that a door? Okay, so we're just pushing the door open. All right, cool. Ah, fuck. Everyone, be careful. Who's here? Oh, now I'm in control of Suichi. See, I, I knew it. I knew it. I was like, I don't trust it. Jump! Ah! Damn it. Leave it to me. This is it for me. Oh! Fine. I'll fucking do it. Fine, I'll fucking do it. Wait! No! Wait! Who just fucking jumped to their death? Why? Okay, so we just run over there, we get some coins. What the f- What just happened? The coins are bombs? What? <laughs> what is this? Everyone, stay clear. Get over here. And you can't go back. You can't go back at all, can you? Nope. Run! How the fuck am I even supposed to jump over that? Ah! 
it's sorry. no good. I couldn't do it. Ah! I am a failure. It's a me. <laughs> what just happened? Uh, a what? As I slowly opened my eyes, it dawned on me that I had somehow lost consciousness. Uh, oh. Are you feeling all right? You're awake. Are you all right? Uh, I'm fine, but what, every, <laughs> what about everybody else? I looked around and saw the others sitting on the ground. Everyone sat in stunned silent as sobering sadness. As sobering sadness filled the air. Jeez, this is quite the pity party, you sad sacks are throwing yourselves. Huh? Monokuma? Wow, you all look exhausted. Poor things, I feel sorry for you. Jeez, this place is filthy. It's murder on... <laughs> it's murder on my cashmere skin. I bet Mono Dam's feeling lucky right now. His body's already a cheap piece of junk. Why don't you respond to him, Monodam? He'll liven things up a little, you know? So you guys crawled out of your holes, I guess. <laughs> you guys crawled out of your holes. I guess you finally noticed that what we were up to. Noticed? I've known for a while that you guys would botch whatever escape plan you had. Huh? What? Um, yeah, I also kind of pretty much knew that too. That's a lie. Then... If you knew all along, then this was just a trap. Then there was no exit. He tricked us. No, there's an exit. I think you guys managed to reach it if you all work together. Yeah. There's nothing you 16 ultimates can't accomplish if you work together. And if at first you don't succeed, try, try again. Try as many times as you want until you accept reality. So we can escape if we work hard enough. Fucking moron! No way, you little moron. They'd be freaking out of <laughs> they'd be freaking out if we could actually have reached it. Jeez. It's probably why they let us try. They wanted us to try the underground passage so we learned that escape is impossible. You got me. Instead of blocking off every exit completely, they leave that little bit of hope. They want us to be desperate to go home, corner us mentally. Actually. That's just rotten. You might be right, but Yeah, but yeah, but we can't just give up. Yeah. Right, you guys? I mean, we've only failed once, you know. We can't give up this early, right? Okay. But isn't getting out of here impossible? That's not true. No, it's not. It may take one more try or a lot more tries, but it's not impossible. Forget about Monocub. Monocub? <laughs> Forget about Monokuma. It doesn't matter what he says I'll to us. Out of here. I don't want to lose to him, and I don't want any of you to lose either. I refuse to lose to someone who would do these terrible things. You're right. Kaede. Mm -hmm. So let's work. Let's all work hard to escape this place together. And once we get out of here and make it to the outside world, right? why don't we all stay friends? Um. Friends? Yeah. Yeah. After going through an experience like this, I think we all be best friends. Right? I mean, it's not every day you get to meet another ultimate. So what do you say? Hm. Mm, that might not be bad. Yeah. Yeah, that's a great idea. Then, we're well, all the more reason to escape this place, no matter what. My body is ready. You can tell by how out of control my pit sweat is. Didn't need to know that. Everyone. Isn't it premature to say that we'll do uh, what we'll do after we escape? Assumptions are all but useless. Jeez, you're clueless. Why am I not surprised that the robot can't read the air? That's robophobic. Robots can read the air, thanks to innovations in, pol in pollu uh, pollutant detective technology. Anyways, doesn't matter if Monokup, Monokup, doesn't matter if Monokuma says it's possible, we'll show him what we can do. That's right. Yeah, that's right. You're right. Seems like a pain, but I guess I'll try. Yeah. Yeah, let's work together. We messed up last time, but I'm sure I'll go well this time. It'll be okay. I'm sure we'll be fine. The divine wind will blow... We'll blow through and lift us to victory. Wonderful. 
Humanity is truly wonderful. That's <laughs> the way you all come. The way you all confront adversity is beautiful. God. With our bonds stronger than ever, we stepped into the tunnel once more. You're making me do this shit again? Everyone go! Don't stop running! Live the dream! Keep going! Ha! Ha! Fuck! Ah, shit! Go back! <laughs> She just, she just jumped, she just jumped to her death. <laughs> Bye, Anara. Just wait for that, just wait for that to pass. Go! Yeah! Ah, fuck! Wait, don't go! You gotta wait. There's too many of you here. Ah, oh, fuck! There's a... I didn't even get a fucking chance. No! God damn it! What, so you get trapped in the cage and you can't- Oh my fucking god. Oh my god. Is it sensor activated? What? What's going on here? What the fuck? Just run! I shall go. Ha! -ha! Ah! <laughs> no! When I finally woke up, searing pain coursed throughout my entire body. I see. I lost consciousness again. Why? What the? I was looking forward to a happy ending. Don't worry. Not yet. We're just getting started. Mm -hmm. Of course. This will be a piece of cake. Yeah. Gons are gonna escape. Become friends with everyone. Gentleman never gives up. Uh. And this time. This time we'll reach the exit. This time. Those words carried me as I stepped into the tunnel once again. But. It was no good. Even so, we refused to surrender. We kept telling ourselves that this time we'll escape. But we failed each time. With every attempt, we repeated the words this time over and over. But in the end, we couldn't do it. I thought we'd be able to escape as long as we never gave up. But it made no difference in the end. <sighs> failed again. Damn, Damn it! I can't go on. That's wrong. Wait, we can't give up. This time we'll... Well, you know. Knock it off already. Huh? Huh? I don't like that. You're free to keep trying on your own. But forcing us to join you is basically torture. Uh, torture? That's so mean. You know what really hurts? Being denied the right to give up in an impossible situation. You won't let us give up, and no matter what we say, you have the moral high ground. That doesn't sound like torture to you. When you say we can't give up, you're not inspiring us. You're strong-arming us. That's wrong. I didn't mean it like that. Hey, degenerate male. Hey, quit being so selfish. Don't. I'm not being selfish. The others feel the same way too. Huh? What? <laughs> Look at Kibo. He's just like, aww. Everyone? Is nearly broken. This hardship gnaws at me. Given the circumstance, the most logical course of action would be to give up. Yeah, I feel like Hisashi Mitsui in the second half of a basketball game. I knew this was impossible from the start. This bullshit is a waste of my precious time and energy. I can't let you all rely on my magic. Besides, I don't have enough <laughs> MP. That, that's gonna be my excuse next time. Whenever I pick up healer on fucking Final Fantasy XIV, I'm just gonna be like, you all can't rely on my magic. I can't heal you all. <laughs> I'm just relieved that no one was seriously injured. Praise be to Atua. You're crazy. Wait! Please wait. We know can give up. Hey guys. 
You guys, are you really okay with not getting out of this place? We shouldn't have to push ourselves. Let's just find another way out, okay? Huh? What? No way. You're talking about the killing game, aren't you? Oh, so you're gonna interrupt it like interrupt? Yeah. So you're gonna <laughs> interpret it like that, huh? You gotta be kidding me! What are you saying? There's no way we can do a killing game. <laughs> Calm down. Want some bubbly want some bubbly? Want some bubble gum? You can blow pretty big bubbles with it. Looks like this little degenerate wants his head smashed into the ground. Wait! Stop, guys! We shouldn't be fighting. Jeez. We fell apart pretty quick for a group that decided to be friends and work together. Sorry. Sorry. It's my fault. I'm so sorry. Uh, um... No, Kaede. Dumbass. Idiot. What are you apologizing for? It's not your fault at all. Hmm. Really? I think it's Kaede's fault. Wow, Maki. Wow, Maki! That fucking hurts. What? Why? This is an announcement! This is an official announcement from the Ultimate Academies for Gifted Juveniles. It is now nighttime. Nighttime officially starts now. It's Betty Bye time! Whether you've been good or naughty, it's time to go tinkle and go to Betty Bye. The dining hall and gym are locked during nighttime, so be careful. Nighttime, huh? Well, no sense pushing our luck. We should probably just get a fresh start tomorrow. Huh? Fresh start? What do you think? We've re we've each been assigned a room in a dormitory. Perhaps we should get get some rest there. <laughs> We're gonna rest in there? What's wrong? The rooms aren't that bad. Much better than my prison cell, that's for sure. But... But it makes me nervous to think we'll be staying the night at a creepy school. Okay. Well, nothing we can do but suck it up. So, what's our plan for tomorrow? Since the dining hall opens at 8 a.m., how about we meet there at that time? That's right. Sure. I'll think of... I'll think it'll work. I'm okay with that. It's decided. Can we go to our rooms already? Either way. Yes. We should get as much rest as we can and regain our strength. I don't know if I can go pee by myself in the middle of the night. I'll come with you. If you don't mind that. <laughs> Why are you drooling? <laughs> what? Why are you drooling? I'll come with you. If you don't mind, that is. Just let me know. Oh. Hey, guys. Just a warning. Should we shouldn't let our guards down. We'll be easy targets at night. Because mean... of killing game, you mean? Please wait. I see no need to worry about something as illogical as murder taking place here. I know, I know. Just a warning. The fuck you two still here for? Uh, um, um Kaede? I don't think you need to worry about what Kokichi said. You aren't you aren't pressuring us. At least I don't think so. Thanks, Suichi. But I'm exhausted. Let's just go back to our rooms and rest. Right. right. See you tomorrow. The fuck you still here for? I mean Hey, why'd you apologize before? You didn't do anything wrong, you know. Um... Well, when we tried to escape, I felt like we were United, we eh, we were united behind a common goal, but after everyone, after I put everyone's lives at risk, that unity is gone now. Seriously? Shut up! That's just a stupid end result. It's not like you wanted to go that way. Listen up. Don't apologize for something that's not your fault. I'll just make you feel bad. You know, everyone just decided to blame you and gave up. I'm gonna give them peace of mind later. Well, anyways, let's just go to sleep for now. See you tomorrow. Aw, at least Kaido got my back. Suichi and Kaido's got my back. Oh. Hey, Gonta. What's the matter? What's wrong, Gonta? You're not going back to the dorms? Don't to worry about manhole. Think it'd be okay. Uh, think it'd be okay with cover gone. What if someone fall in, get hurt real bad? Let's go to gentlemen. Go to gentlemen. Gentlemen, no can ignore that. 
but Kurumi tell Gon to leave cover off. Gon to not know what to do. Um, Everyone knows it's here, so I'm sure we'll all be careful. Don't worry about it. You're right. Okay, you're right. Maybe Gon to just keep eye on it. Thank you, Kaede. Gon to go back to room now. Good night. Yeah. Yep. Good night. Gon to may look scary, but he's actually a very kind, innocent soul. Until he loses his mind and he kills somebody. Uh, <laughs> that fuck it, whatever that wipeout course was I just did, it's pretty fucked up. <laughs> Actually, you know what I want to do real quick? I want to check on their profiles. Alright, let's see. Uh, the end of Earth, March 6th. Dislikes bicycles, dislikes bicycles. Okay. Likes piano keys. Likes cleaning, dislikes taking days off. Oh, well, you're just... You're sad. She's 5'8", five 5'9". Five oh. 4'11". Oh, God. Likes small spaces. Dislikes the ocean. 5'4". <laughs> you guys can't see my face right now, but Maki's my wife. Because I am a short man, and I am 5'4". She is perfect height for me. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Likes morning lake shores. Dislikes winter lake shores. That's very... Okay. 5'5". Five five. Likes nunchucks. Doesn't like men. 5'9". Likes Ava form. Ava form. <laughs> dislikes disorderly cues. Likes avocados, dislikes humidity? Doesn't she live on an island? Huh. She's 5'1. Five 5'1, one. Five one. wow. 5'8, likes children's television and dislikes taking it easy. Dis wait, what? Dislikes taking it easy? Isn't she trying to make inventions for people to do shit while sleeping so they can take it easy? What? 5'7", <laughs> likes novels, dislikes gossips. Alright. He's six foot, likes houseplants. Doesn't like the occult. <laughs> That's very specific. 3'5", likes Russian blues, and dislikes white tip reef sharks. That's very specific. 5'10", likes extra... Likes extra... Oh god. What... Extra t extraterritorial rights and dislikes cars. Dislikes cars. <laughs> likes anthropods. Dislikes bananas. Because <laughs> he's an ape man. How tall is Gonta? He's 6'6. Six, 5'1. Six. Likes carbonated drinks. Dislikes pig feet. I don't like pig feet either. 6'2. Oh my god. He, oh my god. He's literally a JoJo character. What the fuck? <laughs> He has the stone mask. He likes straw ropes. Straw ropes. Dislike air conditioning. Dislikes air conditioning? What the fuck do you do in this? What? 6'2". 5'3". Likes 100 to, 20, to 100 to 240 volts. Dislikes vending machines. <laughs> Alright. I just want to look up our characters. All right, let's get ourselves out of here. Didn't have the chance to. To look at the characters. Who's over here? I do kind of want to talk to them. Wait, who the fuck's over here then? Are you feeling all right? Something the matter? Please rest and try to regain as much strength as you can. Escaping this place will prove to be quite difficult. Best not to fret over it. Okay. Man, Kaede, you run pretty goddamn fast. Seems like... Seeing it's like this, the school really is eerie. It's an interesting place in the day, but having to stay the night is too much. How you doing, Himiko? There we go. With 
my magic. If you really can't fall asleep, I'll put you to sleep with a magic hammer. That would be an eternal sleep. <laughs> okay. To the dormitories. And with that note, I don't want to get killed for the night. All right. Door. Door. Where's my room? Oh, that's my room. Oh, wow. This dorm is way nicer than the cottages from fucking Dengarampa 2. And the cottages were nicer than the fucking dorms from Tangarumpa 1. So, this is my room. Well, it's not too shabby. Huh? A key? Is it a key to this room? Bingo! <laughs> you got it right. Nice work. That is, in fact, the key to this room. You probably don't have anything worth stealing in here. But you should still lock your door when you leave. Yeah! Alright. Now it's time for me to give you a special hint. If you steal someone else's key, you can sneak into their room and kill them easily. Shut up. Don't want to hear it. <laughs> this just got chewed out. Jeez, this place is wor this place is the worst. I want to go home. All right, well, guess I'm going to bed. I'm tired. As soon as my body hit the bed, my body immediately froze. After everything that happened, I forgot just how physically and mentally exhausted I was. I thought we would achieve our goal as long as we didn't give up. That had always been my mentality whenever I practiced the piano. But maybe playing piano is easier. Because I'm blessed with that talent. With Choppin', with Choppin's prelude playing, Choppin's? Hmm. Choppin's prelude playing in my head, I fell into a deep sleep. Choppin', Chopin's? I don't know. New students of the Ultimate Academy, congratulations. Oh my god, it is the fucking Chainsaw Massacre. The weeds here have grown thick with joy as you're celebrating your entrance into the school. Seeing your, your anxious eyes shine with murderous intent makes me oh so happy. If you ever feel lost, don't be shy. Talk to your friends or a teacher. Let's all get along. And let's do lots of killing too. I pray for the physical and mental well-being of all the new killing school sem- Wow. Ah, can't read. <laughs> of this new killing school semester. I mean, I pray for the well-being of you students. Yes, that will do. This is an official announcement from the Ultimate Academy. It's 8 a.m., bitches. Time to wake up and face the blood-drenched day. I wonder who's dead this morning. Stop! If I suddenly see a dead body, I'll puke again. Enjoy your killing school semester. It was awesome. It was awesome. Terrible dream. Wouldn't that be nice? Wait. I don't have time to joke around. Said I'd meet the others in the dining hall. Everyone must be waiting. I need to get to the dining hall ASAP. Time to make our way to the dining hall. Who's going to be the first one to die? I mean, maybe that's why they call it the dying hall. Ha 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 ha. Funny joke. What the fuck? The hell are you doing? Morning, Samugi. Oh, good morning, Kaede. Huh? What's the matter, not feeling well? I woke up a bunch of times last night, and each time I realized it all wasn't a dream. But even so, I still woke up this morning, hoping it was a dream. But... And in the end, it still wasn't. Yeah. Same here. But we gotta face this reality. Aww. You're right. We need to fight against this reality and... Sorry. Oh, sorry. Sorry for the weird conversation so early in the morning. I bet everyone's waiting. 
Cool. To the dining hall. Looks like I can enter the school building from here, but it's blocked off. It's blocked off. Guess I gotta go the long way then. I just remember that I can smack shit. What button do I use to smack shit? Oh, I can't do it. Oh, huh, can't do it right now. Hey, Suichi. Suichi. Morning, Suichi. Okay. Good morning. Huh? What are you doing here? Shouldn't you be at the dining hall? I'm... I was just on my way there. Hey. Kaede? What's the matter? Yep. No. It's nothing. The others are probably waiting for us. We should go. The fuck was that about? Wonder what's up with Suichi. He seemed preoccupied with something. Well, I can ask him later. I need to go. Uh, dining hall. This way, right? No, not that way. Dining hall, second floor? No, it's first floor. This way. No one else is in the hallway? Okay. Good morning, bitches. Uh, oh god, I didn't know that Gonta didn't wear shoes. It's bothering me now. Oh, everyone's already here. So then, now all of us has arrived. I'm glad. Looks as though no, there was no victims. Of course. Of course. By the way. By the way, are you okay, Kaede? Huh? Huh? What do you mean? See? Well, you look really bummed out after everyone started blaming you yesterday. What are you doing, Oliver? That's so mean. Seriously, you guys are so mean. Poor girl. She tried her best to encourage everyone, and you sore losers got mad at her anyways. That's enough. What's the point of bringing that up again? Hey, degenerate man. Actually, didn't you blame Kaede first? Huh? No. <laughs> it's my fault? Why are you guys ganging up on me? <laughs> you guys are so terrible. So horrible. So mean. <laughs> You're too noisy. Cut it out. But, it's true, everyone blamed Kaede without taking any responsibility for themselves. Uh, no. Hey, come on now, everyone was probably just tired. Shut up! Shut up! It's no excuse. That's wrong. No, it's okay, it doesn't bother me. I... It's just, I should have been more considerate of everyone else's feelings. Sorry. I was too focused on the tunnel. I'm sorry. I see. Alright. Well, if you're okay with it, so am I. Thank goodness. Cool beans! Now everything's settled. Hey! But you did blame her first, didn't you? It's a lie. Well, that was a lie, you know. One of those lies to make us more united or whatever. <laughs> did you know half my lies are actually told with good intentions? What are you saying? Now that sounds like a lie. Um. Let's just forget about it and discuss something else. Right? Okay. So I'll think about ways to get out of here. Before you do that, I have an announcement. You don't just suddenly show up. It's too much stress for my heart. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. Didn't mean to not surprise you. I knew it. So, you didn't mean to surprise us. What's wrong? Well, your announcement? Well, now. It's not terribly important, but... It's easier to stay alive by being an oblivious goody-two-shoes, right? Being thrust into a killing game doesn't mean you'll be able to kill someone easily. So, I figured I'd ease you guys into the killing game by giving you motivation to kill. Motivation to kill. In short, a motive. That ought to add some mystery to the proceedings. Even if a killer is exposed, they can they can whip up a sob story to deceive everyone. Incomprehensible. What are you saying? Your logic's impossible to understand. Now then. I will now announce the first motive. Make sure you record this moment for prosperity. Special motive I prepared is called the First Blood Perk. Wow! For the first murder that occurs, no class trial will be held. Can you believe it? That means the first one to kill someone will get to graduate. No strings attached. What are you talking about? <laughs> 
no class trial will be held? I'm sorry that I made the class trial seem more important than it really is. So for the first murder, I decided not to hold the class trial at all. Please just relax, calm down, and kill. After all, the first one's free. Really? Huh? That's all? You just gotta kill someone to get out of here? Don't. That's all? What's that supposed to mean? Please just calm down. You gotta be kidding me. First blood perk? Don't make it sound like some kind of game show bonus. <laughs> you say that, but I bet you're really happy, huh? huh. There's no way I'm happy. Stop it. Stop messing around. Do you think this is fun for us? No, that's wrong. Do you really think I'd kill someone just to get out of here? That's wrong. In your dreams. We're not gonna lose to you. We promised each other we'd escape from this place. <laughs> Spare me your false bravado. You should be f you be for <laughs> You should be focusing on how you plan to survive. You just gotta kill someone, right? Why, you bastard. How should I, put this? I see. The Prisoner's Dilemma. How very clever of you, Monokuma. Huh? huh? What's that? That's true. We all know it better to cooperate rather than betray each other, right? But, if you don't cooperate, you receive some benefit that no one else gets. So it's an incentive to betray the group, to give yourself an advantage. With that, with that in the back of all your minds, we're less likely to cooperate. That's Monokuma's plan. To make a non-cooperative game that tanks Kaede's plans to get us to cooperate. Huh? What? Uh, um... And if a murder were to occur, it'd be even more unlikely that we cooperate. It's likely he created this perk for that sole purpose. To tell you the truth. Right? I bet you can stand I bet you can't stand all the tension in the air, right? So it's better to just kill. Uh... What are you? Wait. Seems you seems you're quite serious about forcing us to participate in this killing game. What exactly is your objective? Shut up! His objective doesn't matter. I'm through letting him have his way. I've had it. Kaido lunged towards Monokuma to grab him, but Rise and shine, shine. Hell yeah! Looks like we got ourselves a volunteer. Finally, it's time for the XSL. We won't let you lay a hand on... <laughs> I don't want to say that. <laughs> we won't let you lay a hand on Daddy. We want Daddy to smile every day. And that's that. These bastards better pay attention. This is what happens when you mess with us. What? What, what are you guys planning to do? Please stop. Kaito. Run, Kaido! Ah, oh, shit. He's gonna die. <laughs> At that moment, we heard, we heard menacing mechanical noises. The XSL's charged. The sound of crushing metal echoed through the dining hall, and then a final gasp. What? What just happened? <laughs> Daddy got turned into a pile of scrap metal. It's What is this? What's going on? Jeez. I'm not sure what's going on, but Monokuma's in pieces. Okay. Serves him right. He just <laughs> he got what he just <laughs> he got just what he deserved. I do not agree. Do not celebrate just yet. I'm certain he has a spare that will appear momentarily. Stop it! There's no spares. Don't trivialize life like that. Huh? What? <laughs> My father was still alive. He used to tell us cubs <laughs> that we must cherish life because like snowflakes. <laughs> We're like snowflakes, unique in every way. Well... If only one existed, then does this mean Monokuma's dead? <laughs> Poor daddy. Poor daddy. <laughs> Let's at least bury him with full honors. Yeah, we'll cook him low and slow to lock in the flavor. While we're at it, we should toss in some carrots and potatoes too. Oh, maybe add some leftover curry too. You know, the sweet kind, my favorite. You want the extra large size of fright too, right? That's right. Now, <laughs> now that we're the new headmasters, we gotta eat more so we can get stronger. So long, farewell. Um. What's going on? 
Wait, what? <laughs> Could they kill Monokuma? There's spare Monokumas, right? There's always been spare Monokumas. Was there a spare Monokuma in the second game? I mean, it was all digital, but... Anyway. Everything's a complete mess now. But if there's no final boss... <laughs> then that means this killing game's canceled. Huh? huh? Cancel? Uh, no. I don't think so. Monokuma's just a robot. There has to be someone controlling him. Don't worry. Don't be such a worry wart. Everything's definitely over now. With the headmaster... Headmaster. With the mastermind gone, continuing this game is pretty much impossible. So that means... Which means we win! <laughs> We did it! Well. So, we're not in danger anymore? Uh -huh. Oh. So we just wait here for the shuttle bus to pick us up, or...? That's wrong. Wait a minute. We don't know that yet. <laughs> Kaede, quit being a buzzkill. Everyone's still annoyed about what you did yesterday. Wow. Wow, you really... Wow. You attacking me like that? Okay. Okay, I see how it is. Huh? But I didn't mean it like... Well. Oh. Is there still something you would have us do, Kaede? Really? You too, Kiko, or whatever the fuck your name is? Kyo? Fucking... Come on, man. Trashy skank. Don't tell us you want to take... Oh, come on, Mew. It hurts. It hurts coming from you. Don't tell me you want to take on the Underground Passage again. All right already. Quit. We know it's impossible. You hurt me too, Maki. Why are, why are both my waifus attacking me? <laughs> Okay. Whatevs. Looks like we're done here. What a relief. What the fuck just happened? After Kokichi finished talking, we all went our separate ways. I decided to return to my room. Alright. I think... Now is a wonderful time to call it for the night. Whew. We didn't quite hit the four hour mark, but that's okay. We hit the we hit the fucking four hour forty six four hour <laughs> thirty uh three hours forty six minute mark. And that's mainly because I was late to my own stream by like thirty minutes. But that's okay. <clears throat> That's fine. My throat is on fire. <laughs> but, with all that said, now is a good time for a stopping point. And so far, I'm having a good time with this. I've been waiting years to play this game, so of course I'm going to have a good time with this. I'm going to take my time with it. And hopefully, you guys stick around for the ride. You know? It'll be fun. Hopefully it'll be fun. That's a, that's at least all I can ask for. But that is it for tonight. Uh, my throat is on fire. That is it for tonight. For those of you who came live, to, uh, came and watched live, thank you very much. I greatly appreciate it. It's nice to have you guys here. For those watching the VODs, if you couldn't catch it live, you know, it's, it's mainly my fault because <laughs> my scheduling is really fucked up. But... Thanks for watching as well. And for people on YouTube, you guys are troopers. But please, come and watch the Twitch live. Because sometimes I just don't upload the videos in a timely manner. <laughs> and that is still a thing. I have playthroughs that I done like two months ago. And I still haven't uploaded them. They're fully edited. I just haven't uploaded them because I'm busy. But... <laughs> Hopefully one of these days they'll be uploaded. But that's gonna be it. Fucking... My throat's killing me. I'm a little tired. And as for the next stream, that will be happening later tonight. It's in the schedule. And that's gonna be the streams for this week. I'm going to check my work schedule, because I'm not sure if they're gonna bombard me with a bunch of shifts like they did... Like they did, uh... This week. But, if they don't... Then I will at least try and get three nights out of uh, streaming for you guys instead of the usual five that I would do. But that's it for Danganronpa V3 right now. Hopefully everything comes 
good together or the killing starts pretty soon. It was a lot of fucking reading for the prologue. A lot of reading. But yes. Once again, next stream is in the schedule. That'll be happening later on. And then, uh, yeah, I have nothing else to say besides that point. So once again, for all of those who came, thank you for watching. I greatly appreciate it. And I will see you in the next episode. Stay happy, stay healthy, and take care. I'm a chef, chef too. What else should I be? Please don't take off.